Yeah, dude, sometimes I just say... No, I'm just kidding. I don't say it. <laughs> I don't say nah, it. Nah, that is not in my vocabulary. I'm a, I'm a pasty white boy. That would be against the law. That's not in his... It's not in his vocabulary. Absolutely not. No, no. Are we live? Are we going? Yes, I, I hope so. Epic. I hope it works. Well, is it working? Hello? Is this working? Is this thing on? Is this thing on? <laughs> Have you got a link? Oh, yeah, uh, I'll link you... it. I'll link it to is you. It, it's a live stream, right? Yeah, it's live. Yeah, 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 yeah. cool. So uh, no... Just so I can read the chat. So no me. slurs. Bro, what do you take me for? What do you I'm take fucking me with for, you. I'm bro. fucking with you, bro. Oh, I like that thumbnail, bro. I like that. That's uh, that is actually that's him. Yeah, bro, you've been getting some subs recently, my guy. You've I've gotten a few. I've gotten subs. a few. I've gotten a few. You love to see it. You know, it's it's sick to see when someone just fucking like, you know, they change it up a bit and it rewards them. You know, you you've, you've seen it over the years with many people in the Undertaker, including you. And, well, yeah, to I an guess extent, so. I guess to so. an extent, to an extent. No, you're right. You're right. I think more views than subs for me, but uh, it definitely has. I mean, I would say my channel is in the best standing it's ever been right now. I mean, I'm even comparing it to like back in the day. No, you know, I've when... noticed. I've noticed. I've been. Yeah, man. So it's... I I have the vidIQ plugin, and I have like everyone as a competitor, and like I see all the stats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's mad it is a bit mad so <laughs> yeah it's yeah. pretty crazy it's pretty crazy um but no yeah do, how did you, you bits, how did you do it how did you do it what do you think did it for you like because you because i won't lie like this isn't a diss but like you were <laughs> you popped off with like the movies like a few years ago and then yeah, for yeah. like a little while it was kind of like dying down a little bit like everyone else because like there was just a general you know yeah like yeah no fall off with the game on youtube but then like you 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 pulled it back you pulled it back somehow what is it just like I the i did is it the you thumbnails what, is it the thumbnails it's, it's many different factors i think it's just sort of swallowing your pride and uh changing with the times because if you go back to all them years ago when i did the movies and stuff yeah never in a million years would i expect to be doing the videos that i'm doing now and that was just out of pure pride you know like it's I, I not you know in a sort of ego way i was like no nah, i'm too good for that you know but nowadays you've you know i just sort of realized well you know if you actually want to stay relevant you've got to change with the times and the times are catchy content you know a, a, a grabbing title way more competitive than it was back in the day so yeah the thumbnails are a big part the, the title's a big part yeah like every I thumbnail won't... it's like i made 20 yeah. billion dollars this is how exactly. i did it exactly um and it is you know it can be a little cringe i agree with that and like i said if you were to show that video to old me you know back in the day i'd be disgusted um but you've got to do it and and clearly it works otherwise it wouldn't but you know i want to i want to be really like careful with it i don't want to obviously just do clickbait i know it's a very clickable title but I always make sure the video is rewarding and it's in and it's enticing and it delivers on what the title and thumbnail promises, you know. So it's never like a so it's like not like clickbait, clickbait, thing. clickbait. It's like uh, I, it's yeah, like kind of it, clickbait, but it's kind of not clickbait because you actually do the. Yeah, I mean, it's enticing, is what I'd say. I'd say yeah. it entices the viewer to click, and then when they do click, they stick around because they're like, oh, this this is exactly what it said on the tin. This is a this is a good video. Um, I think you could argue it's clickbait with the topic of the video. So like, you know, I made 20 million, like, okay, I actually do that in the video, but I wouldn't make a video like that if I know it wasn't going to get views. So it's, you know, it's one of them. So as long as it's entertaining and people like it though, I have no problem with it. And yeah, you've got to be a bit repetitive. Sometimes you've got to be a bit, a bit cringe sometimes, but ultimately the content speaks for itself. And I think after you've watched the video, hopefully at least you're left thinking yeah that was a, that was a pretty good video so then it kind of doesn't matter if it's a bit if, if getting you there was a bit cringe if that makes sense yeah i i understand that the whole yeah. um i mean to swallow pride type thing yeah i was gonna say with with your channel you've sort of experienced it a little bit you you had that video pop off and you was like okay i'm gonna do that again and it worked and and that's you know there's nothing wrong with that that's just how the game is um and you know you've deviated you've you've changed it every now and then but ultimately you've kept to the same 
I guess, idea, which is... Same I'm formula, gonna, give yeah, or Yeah, I'm going to yeah. crash this, this guy's server. <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna spawn works, 2 man. billion wardens on this guy's server, and it's going to exactly. die. And there you go, and it works. And that's, you know, so you've kind of experienced it for yourself. And I feel like, you know, I'm actually glad you have because you've, you know, you can understand what it's like. Um, I feel like a lot of people that aren't in the situation that me and you have been in, they'll look at it and think, oh, you, you're a fucking sellout. Or, oh, you, you just, you're just being cringe or whatever it may be. But, you know, the bottom line is it brings success. It brings more subscribers, more views. People like it. You know, it's not like people don't like the content. Um, no, yeah, so I don't. Why the hell not, bro? I don't know if, um, I don't think I've had any of my, like, original audience um, oppose the new content. But I will say I have had, like, a few people be like, yo, man, where's the unturned, bro? Where's the... <laughs> it happens, man. Where is yeah, it? it... <laughs> Where'd bro, it go? I would literally... If I upload anything that isn't Life Happy, they're like, yo, where's Life Happy? It's like, man, come on. <laughs> you know? And I get it. I get it. But it's just the way it is it's just the way it is that's that's kind of like how the audience is but you know it's a vocal minority i think the majority of the people that are subscribed to you and me they're just here to watch entertaining videos no matter what it is as long as you know as long as they like you they're gonna like what video you put out as long as you don't you know fuck it up <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah i mean i don't think know. my content has like really changed it's just the subject is different like the game and yeah like to be what fair but it's kind of the same thing you've kept the uh the trolling expert label and you've uh you've not lost that so that is true yeah um i think you're doing bits man i yeah literally i what i'd say is look at what made those videos pop off and just repeat it i know it sounds weird because you know people think oh you're recycling content obviously you're going to change the the topic and the it's going to be different because you're doing it again on a different server so you're going to have a unique experience but I it's definitely... just the same like blueprint same formula yeah yeah and bro 100 percent stick to that that's that's you know i guess the best advice i can offer because it, it works for me at least and yeah there's definitely nothing wrong with it so no there's not there's nothing wrong with it no it's good stuff no, it's good. I thought you were going to be, um, cause you're like technically number one for unturned right now. Technically. Yeah. I mean, I mean like, like out of, um, all uh, of all time, I think boom was still bigger, but. Oh, hundred percent. I mean, even, even before the explosion in, in subscribers, I was going to say boom in subscribers, but I didn't really feel like putting the pun there. Uh, cause he got <laughs> the boom. He got all that off of, uh. That was all VR. VR, yeah. But even before that, I believe he had. He was about at like 300k or something. Yeah. Oh, was it 300? Yeah, yeah. So he was he was clear way before then. Um, You're at that point now, though. You're about to hit 300k. I am. I am. I think, man, maybe a couple. Yeah, a few days. Maybe a few days. We're on. We're on two nine nine six two four. Exactly. Two nine nine six two four. As of like the time this is broadcasting. As of right now. As of yeah. right now, this guy's about to hit three. That's a big number. It is. So That's a big 300 number. and something. It is. So we'll get there in the next few days, I'm thinking, um, which is brilliant. But long time coming because like you said, man, I you know, I kind of got over that 200K mark and I just, I didn't even dip for a bit, but I guess my audience dipped. <laughs> um, it kind of like flatlined. I had the same thing right before the, the blow up. My channel was kind of yeah. stagnating in terms of growth. I didn't know what was going on, so uh, I started yeah. experimenting. And then it didn't work at first, mm. so then I kind of was going to go back to what I was doing before. But then it the one out. video, the one with the boats, the boat video where we crashed it with oh, boats. Oh, a while ago. Yeah, that yeah, one yeah. from a while ago, it did the Union. You remember what happened with the Union? Where he, uh, Yes, I remember. Yeah, man. He posted the series his uh got like rl views. craft yeah it got like a thousand views i remember being the first comment on the first episode and it had like wow. 300 views and then that months crazy. later it starts getting recommended that's what happened to me it, it got recommended randomly like so that's why you decided to switch and and do it well again, yeah like i later. it was getting recommended i was getting like 
a shit ton of views every day. Like it started like getting ridiculous. It's like, I thought it was going to be a little bump. Right. But then it kept mm -hmm. going for like over a week. I'm like, all right, I have this video that I was going to start and upload back then, but I never finished it. Cause that initial one didn't do that well. So I was like, oh, I'll save it for later. I mm -hmm. saved it. I finished it and I put it out and then it did. Yeah. And now I'm where I am. <laughs> yeah, man. You know what? It just, do be like that sometimes it's weird it's so fucking <laughs> it is. strange it it's is so strange. i i think i've ha had that happen only once before i was in the same situation as you it was when i did a bunch of vr videos um i was friends with boom so obviously we were like yeah bro hop on the vr like come on we'll uh, we'll make some videos as well so it's like yeah screw it uploaded one it did really well it uploaded a few more they did really good um and then i uploaded this one and it just tanked and i got so scared and went back to unturned um but then why didn't you stick with the vr literally that was the reason there's really the problem with it is it's really hit and miss view wise so i could upload one and get two milli views and then i could upload one the next day and it'd get like 10k so it was it was really hit and miss and i didn't like the inconsistency and the ideas i mean i guess i had a good a good number of ideas but nothing crazy compared to unturned and i still had the passion for unturned i didn't want to stop and so when the video tanked this vr video tanked i think i got like two in a row that tanked i was like screw it i'm going back to unturned and then years later they they got views again so it was yeah it it's was weird weird it's weird how it works like there's pe people try to sell like this is how you get big on youtube like no one fucking knows how to <laughs> no one knows how to yeah, actually do it it's <laughs> luck no it's luck it. based there's there's ways to it increase is. your luck, but besides that, it's, I've it's pretty... Said, I've always said it's luck to, you know, get there, but it's skill to maintain it. Yeah, you have to be consistent. You have to... That's, yeah. That's when I saw... I when that one video blew up, I'm like, shit, I gotta buckle down and make, like, ten more of them, and I did. And it yeah, worked out. Yeah, 100%. There's, I mean, there you go, man. 100%. I think it's... Uh, it's just you gotta you like I said earlier, you've got to just change with the times and if if the algorithm calls for that and and it, and you enjoy doing it and you know you get a good video of it, there's it's a win win, you know? So hundred yeah. percent, my it, guy. Hundred percent. Yeah, I think um for me at least, the unturned chapters like coming to a close. I'm gonna do some big things before I leave. I think forever, but I don't. I don't even know if I'll ever like really leave. Well, leave my server alone, okay? <laughs> can I be on fuck? Can I be on? But by, by the way, is it true oh. that everyone on my fucking Steam group is banned from your server? Is that a real? Oh, I did. Rumor? I did hear that a while ago. I think. Um, I think what happened is, I don't know if it was you specifically, but a lot of people from that group was just for days at a time, just trying to get on and, and do shit. And, days. Uh, <laughs> Days? i think it was yeah yeah it was it was it was a bit crazy and i was just like bro in fact it wasn't even my decision but somebody was like one of my admins was like, oh, can the we entire just, group and the whole group all i was like you know God. what bro yeah go for it whatever um <laughs> i only went on like i think one day it's your reputation man it's your reputation we you know you see z-man on an rp server you know he's not there to rp you know what i mean like <laughs> Does the... <laughs> definitely not absolutely definitely not exactly right i used to be a role player really yeah i used to that was um how i like that was like my first few hundred hours was i was role playing but then like it kind of the servers i would be on like there was just there would always be some bullshit that would go on so i just like kind of i was like all right fuck this and then i went and mm. blew people up instead it is really hard to sort of maintain a roleplay community in the, in a game that is so targeted towards a younger audience that would not care or <laughs> because it's free to play True. as well. You know, it's so it's hard free. to just get a, you know, get a, an actual RP sort of community together. Um, I remember like one. Whitelisted thing. Shout out to Beardman, a.k.a. Kaiser, that's what he goes by now. That's my homie. We used oh. to role play on his server. That was ages ago, though. That was years and wow. years ago. But he had like, there was like twenty of us. But it would be like the craziest shit. Like, and then I remember trying to make a movie out of one of the things. But like, I was on my, uh, I was on a laptop at the time, so it was like Ooh, it didn't rough. come, and I didn't know how to edit. 
<laughs> so it was just like uh I've been there my friend <laughs> you gotta learn somehow though you do and the best way is just practice 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 i suppose trial and error i mean i'm still you know if i need to do a specific edit i'm still googling it like there's no <laughs> you, you never really complete it you know it's yeah every once in a while i get trident to come in and do oh, really? something yeah i get trident games to he's like my it's like um <laughs> this reminds me of when uh i think you were on a, a stream before and you just called me kanye the whole time oh that was so funny that Bro, was funny i don't remember what you were i don't know what the hell that was i can't even remember you were i don't remember either i think i was i was on your server and then you called yeah. me and you're like what's up mr west and <laughs> that was it that was it. that you uh... that segues into my bit because it's uh because it's funny because i use this as an example all the time like um trident games is like my version of mike dean mike dean is like the synth guy that kanye has on all of his albums <laughs> <laughs> That's what. Works, that's my analogy for it. I'm like, yo, that he's like my Mike Dean Trident, dude. Shout out Trident. Trident's my my guy. What's your thoughts on the new, um, I guess, gen of unturned people? All of the new the, the new creators. Guys. I mean, there's definitely, bro. There is so much space for them. It's like <laughs> there's there's not a lot of people left. Sort no. of in this. Uh, so. If you are a new creator, just, you know, go full throttle because I guarantee if your content is good or passable, you'll get somewhere because there is such a gap in the market now. I feel like, I mean, it's literally me and a few others that I just, we're just pushing the cart at this point. And uh, yeah, you can. It's you crazy can how it. there's no one, literally no, there's you, there's Liam, there's, yeah. um, it's so hard to even think me? It, like. there was me there was me i'm not there was i mean i'm technically still around the second channel i post on there still occasionally um but yeah, that was yeah. more of like uh that's more of the um i just like read people's emails I'll, i have people email me and i give them whatever advice i guess that's what i oh do yeah I, I think i've seen um not full videos but i've seen like a little bit a from snippet the second channel yeah it's, it's a cool idea i like it it's sort of just like a chill commentary thing i literally sort of... ripped it it's just a, it's just the weekly slap by jay schlatt that's just what oh yeah <laughs> although he well, ripped that idea from someone I was so it's say, not no one's original yeah no one's original so i was like i'll do a take on it so that's what i did i there hasn't yeah. been one in a month though i gotta go back and do that at some point yeah it's chill i can imagine it's quite chill you just sort of have a ramble but besides that, there's like technically me ish. I don't. I, I mean, a few months ago, definitely me. Me, Liam, you. Um. I I can't even think of anyone else. Oh, I mean, like they're dropping like flies out there. <laughs> it's literally just you and Liam now. I mean, I think there's the occasional like P9, I mean, but I was he's... gonna say P9's still. He hasn't left, but he's taking his time to. He's uh, taking a break to post a video. He's um, taking a break. I thought he was going to overtake you, actually, at, at oh, really? one point. You guys got really close. I'm, we did. Too, obviously, yeah. I'm I'm obviously, I don't, I won't get into the, the whole, you know, but I'm glad he didn't. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, glad, <laughs> oh, I'm, fuck gl it I'm glad he didn't. I'm really, I really am. I think you're a better um, representation of the community as like, as in you being the biggest I, I'll take that, man. That's a compliment. I appreciate it. Like, out yeah, of everyone I, I had to pick, like, out of a few select, it would, it would probably be you. That's sick, man. I mean, I try to... I try to... Because I, I know the sort of influence that I kind of have in the community. I try and keep it, you know, ACOL. You keep it um, to a minimum. He keeps it to a minimum. Yeah, the drama especially, I just try and not... But sometimes, bro, it just... <laughs> Sometimes there's an itch, and it sometimes it does. It washes. Sometimes it does. Um, boil over. It does, bro. <laughs> Every once in a while, to, it does. You know, if you got a bit of Nilex drama, that's like a yearly occasion, and it's it's a treat. It's a treat. I don't even but... remember the last Nilex thing. Neither besides, do I, like, to be uh, I don't know. Um, I remember the last P9 drama though. <laughs> 
I think everyone does. <laughs> everyone remembers those. Everyone remembers the Z-Man dramas too. Everyone, <laughs> everyone, rem- <laughs> everyone remembers that. That's a, that's like an event. Every once oh. in a while, I remember the first big one. Do you remember the first big unturned drama? With Bloody with hell. somebody um, on Earth and Zombie. Do you remember that? Twenty eighteen. I do remember like shit going down, but I never like cared enough to. You never get it, involved. So I don't. I, I don't actually know what happened. You rarely. Remember... You rarely get involved. Yeah, I just can't be asked, man. I don't know. It's like I'm really bad at like just posting on social media anyway. Like I know I should do it more, but especially if there's drama. I mean, I can't even post the happy stuff, right? I just I forget to post. I'm like, oh, this would make a cool Insta post, or this this would be a funny tweet, and then I just never do it. And I'm just, I don't know, man. I'm really bad. I mean, bro, look at my upload schedule. I'm bad at posting on YouTube, so (laughs) I don't mind anything else. I don't know how I still, I mean, I don't, I don't post that much on Instagram. I, eh, every once in a while. I'm, I'm still on, I want to say Twitter, but is it fucking, is it still, it's still Twitter.com, but it's fucking X now. That's stupid. It's always going to be Twitter. Dude, I'd be posting on X. I'd be posting on X. (laughs) It's just so, bro. That that is something that just doesn't make sense to me because, you, you surely you got to think it through. Okay, what are the posts called? Tweets. You got retweets. You got. Whatever. It was so. Tweet, it like, now it's just a post on X, yeah. and now it's a repost. It's weird. I think he did it because um, he has SpaceX, so now he owns X, the I, social yeah. platform, and he has X Corp. That's his like. Mega Corporation or whatever is X Corp. Yeah. That sounds so fucking dystopian. Isn't there a comic it book? It really does. Isn't there? Isn't X book? What the fuck? I just had a goddamn X. stroke. Isn't there an X Corp like in science fiction that's like evil or something? I'm looking oh, it that, up. That actually does. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Really okay, I literally X Corp 2021 comic Marvel.com. What the fuck is this? What, what? is X Corp? Oh, it's the X Men. Oh, the that. X-Men? Is there a correlation? <clears throat> That's something I wonder. Do these mega billionaires name shit after comic books? Like the metaverse? That was a fucking that was in a book and it's dystopian. The book is dystopian. It's actually hilarious. It is, it's so odd, man. I, I, like I don't know how I mean, Charlotte, as a billionaire, you ain't got a lot of time to be just doing this. You've got to like you know, you got businesses to run, right? How how do you have time to just change Twitter to X? Like it's ballsy i'll give him that because like bro he's bought it he's trying to like you know make it profitable and then he switches the name i mean that is... i don't even know if he's trying to make it profitable like all no, of the point, yeah. advertisers had to pull out because uh their shit would get put next to naughty naughty things <laughs> bad things <laughs> bad bad stuff bad inappropriate yeah. political it's... uh other stuff i won't get too specific because you know Oh, I get it, man. It's yeah. I don't There's think lot either of... of us have that many adult adults watching. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, no, I can't imagine that. Especially me, I would say. I think me, especially, which is funny, because before I would say my audience was more adult than everyone, but now I'd say it's the least because of you know block game, other block yeah, game. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, I think you might be right. I mean. YouTube tells me the majority of my audience is 18 to 24. But, but they fucking lie. They lie on the yeah, date. They lie on their birthday. The I don't know if that's true. I think my um, channel's age, like I put for my age on Google, I swear to God, I'm like 105 or something now from when I made it, like however many years ago. Months. Yeah, I look. I'm. Yeah. thank you. I appreciate that. I'm surprised myself that I look this good when I'm 105 years old. Exactly. <laughs> still trolling i'm still trolling i can't believe it i've been trolling oh, yeah. for so long it's crazy man invented trolling I can't believe no it. i didn't invent it no i i took what like chief grief and man zoom B did you know, and i just yeah. went from there he tweeted grief, you saw man. it you saw it he tweeted recently he added me on steam but he hasn't Bro, replied chief to anything i said grief. i forgot about that man and that's why i replied to him actually but yeah, he was another. He came on my server as well back in the day. I mean, we're talking. That's got to be twenty years ago, at least, right? Um, and he tried it then. Um, and it's yeah, I, I, bro, he was, he was one annoying fucker back in the day. I can't lie. <laughs> <laughs> He's a. That's like a. 
that's some that's some unturned legacy shit. That's some it old is. school. I mean, that is some. That's some old school. Like no one yeah. watching probably knows, like at all, what any of that means. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. It, it's crazy. I, I wonder. I just wonder, like, what these people do. Do you remember? Um, since we get into OGs, do you remember Ethan? Do you remember Hayden? Do you remember? I remember Hayden. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Red Flyer, bro. Red like... Flyer. I think I remember. I remember. Um, you remember Alpha Squad and the slash yeah, I one thirty two or slash Give. <laughs> yeah, that was it, that was it. We were me and Doug and like NS were all watching the um, or no, it wasn't NS. No, NS was there. It was also I think Witness. We were all sitting in call. Oh, yeah. I don't fucking remember half the time now because I just get high and watch stuff on Discord, so it makes <laughs> it more fun. <laughs> but um, we were all watching it, and dude, that was—I think that was the first major unturned drama. Was the Man O' Man Alpha Squad where he faked yeah. the raid and he called him out, and then Alpha Squad quit YouTube. And then I go to his channel today, and I still see comments on there bullying him for. <laughs> <laughs> for <What>? fucking spawning <laughs> a dragon fang that was crazy were you in that event what event was that called again no i wasn't i wasn't uh was that the was it called the wall or something or the it was um bro it, it, it was, was something, something like that it was something, something, something. Like the wall it was alpha yeah. squad and p9 actually they p9 was a co-host but as soon as that yeah. happened he disassociated it was it was funny ns was they... in the video yeah 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 definitely um I think they invited me, but I, I don't even remember. I just, I never ended up doing it. I don't know, man. I, You've I been around remember. for a long time, bro. I long I time. Definitely, I've got my o OAP status within uh, within the Unturned community. That's seven sure. years. I, Over seven years. Seven, How long has it been? It's been eight. About seven years. Nah, seven, seven on the dot. I'd say yeah, because I, it was like mid 2016 when I got into it, like video wise, and then. I sort of blew up at the back end of 2016 and then 2017 came around. I kept it rolling. Um, and then I just kind of went from that. I dipped a little bit for a few years, you know, I just sort of. That happened with know, everyone. Life. Though. It was one of those, man. I, cause it's not a, I it's like not a, a diss. Everyone dipped. It was weird. Exactly. It was 2018. It was, it was that was the like dark ages. Like was, the game was dead. Was. And then yeah. Elver kind of brought it back. What's your thoughts on Elver actually? Oh, bro. It's a masterpiece, man. It's, it's, yeah, I mean, every it set a standard for every curated map going forward, um, and it's just it is a masterpiece. It is. It is beautiful. Really, I really agree. Beautiful. I agree. It is. It did really set a standard for every curated map after it. Because before there was like a mm -hmm. formula where the map had to be okay. We got a an unturned map. What are we gonna make it? Oh, let's make it either a country or a province in Canada or a state in the U.S. That was it. Yeah. If it wasn't in yeah, Canada it, or the U.S., it was like the whole country, like all oh, Russia, Germany. Yeah, it was. It was very interesting how they absolutely. did it. And then you know, Elva came along, and yeah, just really it's fantasy, literally fantasy yeah, world it, outside the box completely, and it worked so well. And the amount of care and effort that went into that, it's. I mean, yeah, it just. I mean, obviously, Danaby was big before that as a as a creator, as like a, a modder. He was very well known in the map making was, scene. Yeah, he was already very well known, but I mean that made him the closest to being an official SDG, you know, on the roster as could be without actually being one. Uh, he was just, bro, he was up there. You, you know, he was with a big dog. Why is he not hired by smartly dressed games? Who knows, man? Maybe he's being offered. Maybe, maybe he said no. I don't know. It's, I doubt that. Maybe I, doubt I don't know no, if <laughs> I don't know if Dan would say no. I'm not sure because. If Nelson will let 505 Games, like, make a horrible, <laughs> rep, like, replica of his game for console and make a horrible trailer, you'd think yeah. he'd hire Dan, someone that's actually trusted. Yeah, like, maybe, I guess maybe SCG just don't need need to hire people. Maybe it's, because, I mean, the game is all Nelson. I mean, I know they've got a couple of employees now that do bits and bats, but the the main game is just Nelson. So it's I just Nelson on the game, and... If I remember Malt rightly... Is the employee yeah i don't want to put words in his mouth but i'm pretty sure at least i got the vibe i don't know if he actually said it but unturns his baby you know he doesn't want to hand it to other people to to develop alongside him i think you know he wants to cradle it himself and that is fair enough it's like 
yeah, it's fair. My videos, you know, I yeah, like it's... to I like to have full control. I like to you know write the videos, obviously record them, but edit them and have. Don't you do control. music too? Sometimes. Um, I do some. T yeah, very rarely I'll create my own music piece, but I don't do that very often. Only if it's like a special video, I'll do it because, you know, it's nice to do that. I suppose. Um, but you yeah, really, I, I can definitely see it. You really like. You really did like you did some like you were the first one that ever did like an unturned like film, which is weird because that's not a common yeah, thing man. you see like in games, like someone making a film in the game. Like that's not a common thing. So, yeah, you know. well, I mean, back in the day, I the inspiration comes from Frankie on PC. I'm sure you've heard of him. Um, Frankie on PC. You not heard of him? Wow. Is uh, to I be fair, think I might have. But I semi retired at the minute. He's basically uh, back in the day when I was a wee young one. Uh, I'd watch him play like the Arma 2 DayZ mod um, and then a bit of Arma 3 DayZ mod. And uh, he was like what I was like with Unturned, except on a scale I'll never be able to reach. You know, he is he is the just the inspiration for everything that huge I did back scale. Then. Yeah, man. He to be fair, looking back at it now, I'm kind of doing what he did then. Uh, unturned um but back in the day it was unachievable man it was like he was making these movies these amazing videos uh in arma 3 daisy uh and just like my movies were you know they were compelling they had like you know really emotional moments they, they were just jam-packed with it and it was just amazing man. like they were just if you grew up watching frankie like you you'll know how special it is i can't even put it into words but Anyway, he was my inspiration, and then I, I was like, you know what, I can do that with Unturned. Because I used to, like, just RP on Unturned, and, like, because it was all, like, survival-based, so I was like, RP and as, like, a survivor, and I kind of felt like, you know, oh, this is, like, Frankie's videos, and I was like, you know what, why don't I actually record this? Um, and I did, and it, it, people liked it, so there's never an original idea. <laughs> it was, uh, yeah, so that's what inspired me to do the movies, but in terms of game-wise, yeah, it's never been done with Unturned. I think the first movie I did was... Uh, the the nuke the nuke that's a classic man dude it's my classic, man. my friend dk still goes on about that fucking video dude. really <laughs> seven years later dk oh, I machine that. i respect that he man. still it's, goes I mean, on about it sometimes i don't know if it holds up today like but back then it was good it was it was amazing um for and the, we did another one for the technology or whatever back then or <laughs> yeah. whatever the it was it was a big no it was i remember seeing it i remember watching that video yeah. That's one of the no, first was... unturned videos I think I saw. Actually, one of the first ones wow. was the the nuke. It is crazy to hear because you know, obviously, I'm looking at the video, I'm seeing all the views it's getting, but you know, thinking about it and deep in it, it's like, yeah, that video was a lot of people's reason to even start playing the game. And you've probably had it with your videos as well, and and your community. Like, I've had people tell me how you know they've made like lifelong friends within that community, and it's like you never really think of it um as anything on a day-to-day -day basis but if you really deep it you're like damn I i've proper altered people's lives here it's mad no it is it's crazy. crazy no i've had people yeah. tell me that i remember um i actually remember i think the most vivid memory i have of someone telling me that they like got like into the game or they came back to the game because of me was mega mind i remember that was one of the last things he ever said to me was really i was like a huge reason why he got back into the game because i guess he wasn't into it anymore but then he came back because of the the zerging and the trolling and, yeah yeah and then oh, like maps a, came out feeling. no yeah it yeah it's it's sad it's really it's it just sucks Oh, I yeah, I was gonna say i suppose that means way more now than than they ever did. oh it does no it's yeah. it's no, I I definitely in like if you watch his videos, you can tell like it, I actually didn't know how much influence I actually had, like yeah. on his life. Like his friends, we were like doing a, it was like a, because I couldn't make the actual funeral because I was actually gonna fucking go, but I couldn't afford it. So they did like a virtual one on Discord and like this private server that we're all in. Like his dad, right, and everyone, yeah. his real life friends were there. They told me that he watched my streams in class, literally really? in school. He and wow. that hit me so deep because I used to do the same shit. I would watch Zumbi or Liam in class. I used to Bro. watch them in class. It was crazy. So when I heard that, I was like, "Wow, that's yeah, 
relatable. It hits you hard, man. It really does. I I don't think I've ever had, you know, anything that deep happen, you know, anything that, that hits that, that hard. Um, but I can imagine that it's absolutely like, you know, especially with everything, uh, the circumstances and stuff, it reflecting back, you know, it must make you feel a lot, you know, because it's, it's not easy in the moment you're overwhelmed and then looking back you're like fuck you know like that was yeah that's why i changed up that's why i changed up my act because like um (laughs) we had like a like i won't get too specific because it's not important but we kind of like there was a time where like we weren't talking because of some stupid thing or something um it we worked it out in the end i'm really glad we did before yeah you know but yeah that really made me think, like, bro, like, what if, like, me and Doug got into a fucking, like, scruffle that was, like, pointless, like, that one, and we stopped talking, and then, like, one of us gets hit by a fucking truck or something. Like, dude, that would Bro. Like, that's bro. That's the thing, man. You've got to, you got to remember, like, nothing's guaranteed, not even tomorrow. So, you know, when you're getting into pointless arguments and stuff, it's... It's hard to obviously in the moment when you're riled up, but it's hard to remember that that it's yeah, it's not worth it. It's yeah, dude, I get, I so. get, get, I get gassed up. <laughs> oh yeah, no, nah, like, you know, yeah. everyone knows I get gassed up. You can gas, do Z Man gets gassed the fuck up when something's <laughs> going on, dude. But man, you got to remember in the words himself, you know, it's you got to be cool to each other, aren't you? That's that's that line. is what he said. Yeah, that's the bottom line, man. That and was he's not wrong. He's not. He's not wrong. You treat others as you want to be treated. That's an. That's another one. That's another big one I've heard a lot. Yeah, I think you know it's it's a good life lesson, man. I mean, there's relating it to all the drama and stuff. There's no point. There's no point. If you're not gonna care about it in like a few days, then what's it the shouldn't point? even cross yeah. your mind. Yeah, you're right. You'd be right about that. Yeah, you want a you want a you want an easy life. You want a simple life. At least I do you anyway. I'm just I'm life. just happy chilling, bro. I'm just you know I'm just doing my thing, just chilling, just, just riding it on easy mode. I guess. No drama, no nothing. So, is it safe to say? Speaking of easy life, is it safe to say? So you do YouTube full time, right? Yeah, well, it's YouTube and and the servers, but mainly YouTube, yeah. You don't have to get specific, but I am curious <laughs> which which pay which pays more, the server or YouTube? I'm actually oh, very man. curious. Yeah, I assume it, YouTube, right? You'd be surprised. It depends. It really depends on it what depends. my schedule is like. They are close. They are very close. Um, wow. That's... Yeah, I've had I've had months where the servers have done you know, better. Double. Yeah, made double what YouTube would, but. It, then again, if I'm not uploading much, it's not like it's hard to beat, I suppose, if you're looking at it like that. Yeah, if you like um, you were posting like every day, then I'm sure it would make more oh, like, by a be, mile. Yeah, but at the minute, they're neck and neck, I'd say. They're pretty average, um, pretty even to That must another. be nice then. That must be like a nice double It's nice, income. yeah. I mean, a lot of, obviously, to to make the videos doesn't cost much but to run the servers that costs that's a bit so you have to put money back in yeah yeah a lot of that money you know i guess the final money that i take from that maybe youtube would win um but yeah i guess servers are just they're just expensive man especially when you you do a lot of bespoke custom things um hiring developers and stuff it's it's a bit of a bit of a, a money hole but it's worth it at the end of the day because you get a, a sick server and um yeah it's just the end goal isn't it i suppose it's the end goal yeah the i haven't been on the server in a while <laughs> uh yeah we're in we're well i mean it's it's vastly changed since you were last on but um yeah last uh, time i was on it was like uh it was like california but it was it's still that map, but we've yeah we've changed quite a lot and uh an update that we're dropping pretty soon has changed it even more we've just added a big extension onto it um but more importantly we've we've pretty much just gone through all the plugins we have and hired a dev to custom make them so that they are bespoke to our server and they perform to you know just 
the best standard um which i'm so excited to put live because we've had like a lot of performance issues recently with the server um and this is just going to fix everything it's going to be so nice that should be good. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. I remember going on there and it was a little laggy. Just a tad. Yeah. yeah. I mean, what it's... can you do, though? There's like eight fucking eight billion people's fucking custom base <laughs> on the server. <laughs> like, you gotta exactly, load all that yeah. in. Yeah, but we've, we've found clever ways to get around it and make sure it, it runs smoothly. So, uh, we're looking forward to it, but... It, do you have yeah, the biggest server? And... Is your server the biggest um... currently? Or is it, like, top five, you think? I th I'd say it's top five. I mean, in terms of actual player, if you're looking at like concurrent players, like players that are on there, like, like at all times, at, like the at, average, yeah, at, at any minute, we've only got a fifty player limit because of the performance issues. Once we fix them and roll the update out, we could easily push like a hundred, maybe two hundred. Um, but there is RP servers out there which are pushing a hundred players, no problem. Uh, but in terms of actual like community size i'd say we, I, I think we've got to be the biggest i'm sure of it like i i don't know if it's cheating because i've you know it's, it's a like it's YouTube a dual well. discord yeah it's your discord yeah is for but YouTube i will answer. say not i can't really remember the last time someone used it just to you know talk about videos it's very much a server discord when you're actually in it i mean everyone in the chat is talking about the server it's you don't really get a lot of just video talk um but we've got a, you know multi-thousand member count so it's uh that must be so I, meta because you get people from yeah. the server and some of them may not know you and then they're in the discord and they see your videos they're like oh the server owner yeah. makes videos has that ever happened i'm that would be surprising has, though. Yeah. everyone knows you though yeah it's weird practically I guess if you think about it though like the games some of the games you play you won't really be watching the like youtube videos about it so you'll just be playing um you know let's say you really like minecraft but you don't really watch any minecraft videos you're not gonna know anyone in the in the youtube space of it uh it's happened a few times not often but it has happened um but then on the flip side of that it's meta in the other way because it's like people watch the videos they play the server and then i get players so it's like they help each other out it's it's a nice little yeah, it's like little a little like YouTube that's what i'm thinking about. About yeah yeah exactly it's like a loop um yeah for sure for sure but it's yeah it's one of them i think most people obviously that play the server do know of the channel and stuff I, it's very rare that it doesn't happen oh that's, that it, yeah it's dope yeah. no it's that's a good it's honestly a good idea did you ever think of, but um when you were starting the server did you think about making a separate discord for the server or was it always did. a joint thing yeah no well the server came before the discord uh the only reason i made a discord is because they sponsored a video i was like okay i'll just make a server wait um, discord sponsored a video of yours and you didn't even have it <laughs> bro it, this was this was when they first started oh you know, like 20, 2017 that's yeah. crazy though you can say you got sponsored by discord one time they're huge now they have yeah like, it's crazy they're man. great they're massive now everyone fucking uses that exactly no it's, it's pretty sick it's pretty sick but uh we did yeah so we did that and then i made a server and i didn't really make it for the network for the for the servers um but people just started joining it and i was like oh screw it let's just you know because we had the website and we still do and everything was handled through there. Through there, we had the forums, we had the appeals. That is old all school. That crap. It is really, but, that but is old you school. know, back then it was sort of normal. Um, Still commonplace. Yeah, but then we moved everything to the Discord eventually. And now Not everything, everything but... now forums are like dead because it's all Discord and. Yeah, and it's you know it, it benefits us because we don't have to worry about you know, website servers or you know costs of of making sure that we can fit a bunch of users on a on a web server at once if you know if a thousand people are loading the website and because discord's done it it's it's all in it's all in it's here. all built in yeah so it's it's nice it's nice but i suppose yeah in terms of like money and stuff overall i'd say youtube does win and i'd say it's helped by sponsorships as well i think you know just speaking of discord sponsoring it does remind me that it's not just ad revenue, you know, it's, it's sponsored. Yeah, you get sponsored well. and, and stuff like that. Yeah, so I think overall YouTube definitely wins. I actually but, got um, sponsored. I got sponsored on my new vid. Oh, really? What? Who by? 
It was by um, a Discord where they have all, like, basically, have, like, they have, like, 6,000 Minecraft texture packs in there or something. And they... Oh, yeah. That's, that's like, where you go to find them. Yeah, they actually oh, sponsored... The, the next video is sponsored by them. That's pretty good. First sponsorship I think I've ever had besides... um. You could argue, <laughs> you could argue, Unturned Bet was a sponsorship, but I didn't even get paid for that. <laughs> I don't think I got paid for that. Did I? No, I think I Wait, did. What? So maybe that was my first sponsorship. Wait, how come you didn't get paid? Did you? Did you? No, like, I think I did. It? No, I think I did oh. get paid. I think I did, but I, I, yeah. I, I don't entirely remember. No, but that that I, was funny. Bro, yeah, that was I mean, a funny. I, that was a funny fucking meme. I've had bet insights reach out to me. I've had, you know, unturned gambling things and the the money they offer is ridiculous and it is it is so hard to say no. It, but... but you got like more morals come in and you're like, I gotta say no. The only reason I did the unturned bet <laughs> thing was because Rushed was running it and like I thought yeah, like I, I thought I knew him at the time. I thought yeah, I knew Yeah, oh him. no, I completely get that. But yeah, it, I mean the, I personally in my personal opinion, if I saw a YouTuber doing a gambling sponsorship, I wouldn't think twice. I don't really care. I, you know, power to them, get that bread. As long as they're being considerate and, you know, letting their audience know that it's... Hey, it's know, 18 it's, plus, man. Yeah, yeah. Hey, man. You know, and as long as the audience isn't like a, a young targeted audience, that's... To yeah. me, get your bread, bro. It's just personally, I wouldn't do it. Mainly because of my audience um, and... You know, I don't want to be. It's so, it just it's a negative connotation. I think, yeah, it's just not a good look. Um, and it's bro, it's hard to turn it down, man. Is I I don't necessarily blame anyone for not turning it down because it's hard. The yeah, the, I know they the money they, they, they offer, offer they offer some crazy numbers, especially yeah. if you're big. So it's like, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna. But I, I'm glad I turned it down, and because now. You know, the money would be spent, and I would have that that negative, I guess, connotation over my head for the rest of my life. Yeah, your rep so, would be affected forever, and the money would. does not last forever. Yeah, that's it, man. It's I, like a Coco Melon feel shit about it. had a fucking sponsorship for, like, BetGM, and they were, like, mm -hmm. it's like the little animated baby, and it says, 99% <laughs> of gamblers quit right before they hit it big. <laughs> it's true, man. It's true. That's a true fact. Listen, guys, 99% of gamblers, they quit right before they're about to win. Not fucking <laughs> The house always wins. Remember, the house always it wins. Does. When you gamble, the house always wins. Even yeah, when you win, they still win because that's probably like a tax write-off when someone actually wins. Bro, literally, if you win, bro, the government wins. Yeah, you'll probably if... have to pay tax on that, right? Of course, 100%. Oh, and, my and God, bro. Literally yeah, just getting man. owned. Yeah, man. It's is like the gambling launch, man. still it's... gonna be a thing or no? Are they? Is someone gonna? Is everyone gonna finally wake up and stop doing it? Or you think that's just gonna fucking forever be like something people nah, do for fun? It's gonna be. Yeah, I mean, I I gamble for fun. I play poker, but it's. I guess that's not really a case of the house winning. Um, it's not like a luck thing. It kind of is, but it's it's poker's different. You know, every month or so we go around to a friend's house and we just gather around and. Uh, and it's actually, you, that's friend, better because it's like you're friends. just putting it in the center of the table. It's so. actually Dubsy Dave. Dubsy? We go around to Dubsy Dave's house every month or so and uh, we play poker. We have a poker night and um, <laughs> all the boys get together and we just we just chill and have a. And have a I haven't heard that guy's little... name in like like probably years. <laughs> Dubsy? Yeah, you go to Dubsy's oh. house and play poker. Yeah, bro. It, me and Dubsy are still like. You know, really close. We're like best. What does he it's, do um, now? Is he still do something? He's he's not. He doesn't play on turns um, anymore. He's uh, he's just living life, man. You know, he's 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 just vibing. He's just doing his thing, man. Uh, working and yeah. So it, it, he does. He did say he wants to come back for one video, which uh, that's got to be a good video though. It's got to be a it's got to be a banger to to the highest degree. It's got to be. If anything, it's gonna have to be a movie, isn't it? Like, if I'm coming back with Dubsy Dave, no less than a movie will do. Um, True. So yeah, but yeah, man. In in real life, we're still super close friends. Uh, nothing changed there. It's just, I guess that might be weird for people to hear because on the YouTube side of things, 
he's just not been seen for years and years. No, that's that's actually really funny that you guys. Oh no, we don't. He doesn't play. We still hang out though. We go to, <laughs> I go to his house. We all play poker. Yeah, that's that's just 100%. chill. That's chill. That's chill. It is brilliant. It's cool. Have you met viewers um, in real life? That that's another that ooh. brought that question into my head with the I have... you hanging out with Dubsy. I have a story where it, I guess it's relevant to this. Um, it wasn't exactly a a viewer, like a fan, but um, I was in London with Me Like Big Boom and Quaz Was Red, and we were we were getting a train from London all the way up to like the north of England. So mm-hmm. it was a big, long, you know, national train. It was, it was a huge. There was a lot of carriages on that train, right? And we sit, we just obviously chose one, sat there. There was a guy sat on the opposite table, um, mm-hmm. just on his own. He he was just to himself, blah, blah, blah. We started talking about YouTube and uh, and Unturned and stuff, just among us, you know, me, Tyler, and Quaz. Among us. Among us. <laughs> and then uh, he, uh, he overheard us and was like, oh, you, you're talking about games and stuff and we're like yeah 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 um we're talking about unturned he's like oh bro i, I used to play that game i was like have you by any chance heard of a youtuber called me like big boom he's like yeah yeah i used to watch all the update videos from that guy i was like he's right in front of you my friend um <laughs> and he was like no way and then uh we you know we started talking about like all the nylix videos and it was like bro this is mental and he phoned his friend he was like bro you'll never guess who i want to train with um and yeah he was just going from from uni down in london up to wherever he was going um and we just happened to meet him just on a random train and uh yeah we just uh <laughs> we just met him and, and that's that's he chill just happened to watch the channel it was so it's so weird I, I it makes me think like how many people do you pass on a daily basis that is subscribed that to? might Obviously, know you yeah it won't be a lot because you know i've only got not. 300k and in the and that's like out of 8 billion so <laughs> But there's there's definitely got to be, I mean, there's people that like play my server, which are in the, you know, they're from the same city that I'm from, um, and it's not like a huge city or anything. So I, chances are, I might have passed them on the street once or twice. So I have, least... I know I have. Oh it's really? Actually... So I got, I've got two actually. The first one is my boy Reese. So I was on, I made my Instagram, mm-hmm. and, um, at that time. What me and my friends would do, there's this huge abandoned mall. I actually made a video about it on my second channel. There's this huge mall like near where I live, like decently close. It's like a it's like a 20, 30 minute drive, right? Huge yeah. abandoned mall, and we would go in there and just like hang out, I guess. It was like a little spooky, so that was kind of the appeal. Like, oh it's spooky and blah blah blah. Um, yeah oh fully yeah it's like in a you know it's like urban exploring i suppose yeah it was it's it that's exactly what it was so i was doing that well i started posting some of it on my instagram because i'm like well i should like post something because this is kind of cool yeah. um so i started posting it and someone that was following me i didn't um they like messaged me they actually dm'd me through the story i didn't like i wasn't completely familiar with i mean i had instagram like for I had it in 2014. I got rid of my account because it was like I made it in school. So like everyone that was following me was from school and I didn't want to post like about YouTube on my yeah, Instagram yeah. with all my school people. So I deleted my account, left for years, came back. So I didn't know. This guy messages me. He's like, yo, is that insert mall? I could probably say it. I think I named it before, but I won't just because. <laughs> so the <laughs> yeah, so. He's like, yo, I know that mall, bro, show me around. I'm like, okay. So I meet up with this guy. (laughs) (laughs) His name is Reese. He's like, bro, I like watch your shit all the time. He actually, he thought I had, he thought I had more subscribers than I actually did. But he's like, yo, dude, you're like chill, bro. And then we went and we went in there and I like, I think I remember posting it on, that was like one of my first posts I made was me hanging out with Reese. We still hang out. Now we're just friends. So we just hang out. That's my boy Reese, and then another that is one. Sick. That's so cool. It is sick. It really is. He's a he's a chill guy, dude. Average Z Man, ten sixty four viewer, six foot three, massive man. <laughs> <laughs> that's lit- he's like huge, bro. He's a massive man. It's crazy. You wouldn't expect. Yeah, man, that's crazy. I mean, you wouldn't expect. I'm six three on a good day, at least. 
He's no you, Reese you is huge. I'm like six. Oh, is he like one. stocky? He's like built, bro. He's like yeah, yeah. He's a big. That'll do it. Big man, big man. There you was can be tall, one. but you've got to be stocky if you want to look fucking menacing. You know. I'm working on it. Yeah. Oh man. I mean, same. It's it's always a it's always a journey. It's a never ended journey, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to. But yeah, the um. There was another one. My girlfriend had friends over, and one of the friends brought a friend, and it was this guy, and Chris was talking about, I guess she was talking about my channels. Somehow it got brought up, and this random fucking guy I've never met before that I don't even know, like, it was a friend of a friend. He's like, oh, Z-Man1064? I know who that is. And you're like, huh? And this was, like, right after the blow-up, so it kind of makes sense because I just got recommended. So I got, like, more views yeah, than I would yeah. usually get. Oh, yeah, he makes that, like, Minecraft stuff. And then, like, Chris called me. She's like, yo, this random guy knows who you are. I'm like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that is sick. I love that, bro. That is cool. It's, it's so bro, weird. It's, it's weird. I had it, um, well, I didn't have it to that degree. It was, well, it was yesterday and today um, at this car dealership they uh i felt like such a fucking vip dude it was crazy like i go in and they're like oh you know i want to buy a car blah 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 they're sitting down doing all the paperwork oh what, what's your occupation i was like well i don't know what it come under I, this is always the hard part because uh i'm like oh uh, you know i guess it come under like media creation or something like that uh i was like i make youtube videos so i don't know what i'd do and it's like, oh you're a, you're a youtuber i was like yeah yeah he made me like get up my channel and stuff um and he, the dude went home and watched one of my videos as well the, the salesman um came back in today and uh he was like yeah 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 i checked out your channel bro it's sick um all the all the bosses and stuff want to meet you from this like this is a vw dealership bro and he's like <laughs> um He's like, yeah, yeah, these bosses want to meet you and stuff. So uh, I sit down with uh, one of the bosses. He's like, oh, thanks for buying a car, blah, blah, blah. He's like, we've had footballers. We've had so-and-so, so-and-so. Um, but we've never had a YouTuber before. So uh, I just felt so like, like, bro, I, I don't have like 10 million subs. I'm not Mr. Beast, <laughs> you know? Like, like it, it, it was flattering. It was really flattering. But um, I mean, you are I a guess... YouTuber, though. You have the plank. You got the check. I like, do, you yeah, are like I a... Guess. I guess it, it is counts. true. It counts. It does count. It does count, but it feels very odd. But I, you know, I can't complain. I, I felt very flattered. Um, and then yeah, they were just. Uh, it, it turns out though, it turns out I knew the boss's son. He I went to school with him. Uh, that, so it's a small that's world. Small world. Yeah, I was about to say small world. That's absolutely. crazy. But uh, but yeah, so that was a pretty, a pretty funny experience. It was just like I got like the VIP treatment. It was uh, it was pretty epic. So wait, when you get asked about your occupation you actually say youtuber like you just flat out say no it. well it so i don't know how it works in the u.s but in the uk if you're getting like you know if you're getting a car obviously you, you're gonna need to prove that you make money in order f for them to let you have the car uh same with if you're getting a house renting an apartment whatever it may be um getting a mobile or a phone whatever so uh You'll, they'll just be like, oh, what's your occupation? And uh, it'll be you'll have the option of like employed, self-employed, or unemployed. I'm self-employed because I don't work for a company. I work for myself. Uh, and then there's a subcategory. And there's normally things like entertainer, media, something like that, video, videographer. And it, there's, obviously, there's not a thing for YouTuber or anything. So it's hard to find the category. Yeah, there so I'm like, category, oh, I don't know what it'd yeah. be under. So I have to tell them. I'm like, oh, I... I guess, you know, I make YouTube videos, so what would that be under? And they'd be like, they're always interested. I don't um, know if I have to put my, what I, my occupation is for, I haven't personally I bought mean, if, a car yet. So. Oh, right, I see. If so you I don't do, know. It, I mean, unless you just give them fucking thousands in cash and you don't have to finance it, fair enough, but if you finance in a car, they'll likely have to, because you need to prove that you can make that money to pay them, basically um so they just and, and insurance as well car insurance is they want to know what you do so you can pay it true um so it's just one of them where like you have to just be like oh like, yeah I this is what really I do. little youtube videos i play unturned um, free to play on my youtube yeah oh man it's it's crazy man but it's funny it is funny it's yeah. always weird when i have to do that speaking of youtube 
I remember you tweeting something. You tweeted that um, the first few videos you did were actually like Minecraft. And I was cu since I'm the Minecraft man now, I'm curious what you did. What was the what did those videos entail? Was it just gameplay or was there like was it something like It was yeah, so Hmm? Got that squeaky voice and everything. Um It was I don't know if you you probably will remember. People used to make like adventure maps for Minecraft. You just download them and play them. Oh yeah. I remember that. Yeah, so I did, I did old. that. Super old. It was one of them. I believe the first one was called uh, The Lost Potato, I think. The Lost Potato. That yeah, sounds familiar. Uh, yeah, and I, I played through that, you know, like 10 episodes or something. Um, and then I did another one, and I did another one. I did some Russ, um, like Russ Legacy, because this was like way back then. Um, oh, yeah, this is probably what? nine years ago uh, eight years ago uh, 10 i'd say 10, 10. Uh, yeah a decade ago definitely because yeah because i i recently just hit uh like the 10 year mark on my oh channel, yeah I, I that's that i think that was the tweet where i saw that 10 years bro 10 years man so 10 I, I basically years. 10 years and that's when i started making videos so i made the channel and then started making videos immediately and bro i was uploading like every day sometimes twice a day i don't know how i did it back then um oh no the first video sorry I'm, I'm just looking at my old videos the sunken island adventure i did episode one through 13 um and then we did some other minecraft stuff uh, that guy's and then, this guy's dedicated man i'm dedicated man and then i believe it or not i did uh unturned 2.0 but nobody That's watched it old school yeah man 2 I, uh unturned 2.0 man back when that was the only unturned you could play um, and we did a couple videos on that. I even did some videos when 3.0 first came out. Did some on that. Didn't really get anywhere with it either. And then all of a sudden, man, I was like, you know what? Because I got a bit better at editing and stuff. And I was like, yeah, let's send it. We're gonna we're gonna make some bangers. And I did make a banger, and uh, it blew up for what it was. You know, got all the subs in, and I was just like, yeah, man, let's let's go with it. It was so much different back then. It the really whole was. thing was so different. YouTube, the game, yeah. everything was. Di it's weird how different it was. It's so nostalgic, man. It's insane. Like I, just I just think back to when I first was making those videos, and it was just like, man, Unturned was. I mean, no one knew who I was. It was just, you know, I was like a little underdog. I was just a geezer that was playing the game. You I get just... recognized uh, in the game. You get recognized all the time. I assume. Yeah, I mean, if I'm in, like, a, a random server, in my server, whatever, definitely. I mean, bro, it was... You, you wouldn't see it these days. It was incredible. Like, I made the I made the nuke, right? And then mm -hmm. I had about 20k subs, maybe. Nelson put the billboard in the game for me. And I only had, like, 20k. Really? Was mental. I was over the... I remember exactly what I was doing because um, I... Somebody told me, but someone left it in a comment. And I was like, no, "Yo, I'm you're in the game." I went, yeah, I went into the map editor, went through all the billboards, and there it was. I almost cried, bro. I remember it was crazy. And then uh, I was, I was, uh, I was shouting my mum to go upstairs. I was like, "Look at this!" And uh, she brought me up some juice and spilled it all over my keyboard in that exact moment. I thought the perfect time. So uh, that was that's funny. That was <laughs> yeah. It was great. It was a very emotional day. But um, yeah, I couldn't believe it, man. It was it was just such. A mad feeling to be reckoned. You had twenty K and you got the billboard, yeah. bro. That is yeah. fucking dude, where's my Great. billboard, man? <laughs> Yo, where's I mean? where's Zoom's it. billboard? <laughs> where's Chief's but, billboard, man? Where is it? Where's Liam? Liam? He needs a billboard. There you go. There's so many people now. There's so many people. But yeah, man, it, it's crazy. Like I I was over the moon. It was it was so crazy to be recognized from like Nelson's. I think it was the first time ever that you you know i felt like that because i you know i got recognized by the de developer man i mean it's crazy i was just over the moon and i still am i mean it's still such a amazing achievement to say that the game that i have basically made my career i'm a part of in you're in it yeah now world. you're in it yeah man it's crazy and you know it. it's a it's a good feeling knowing that nelson enjoys the videos as well that's a it's a nice little touch <laughs> That's pretty crazy though. Twenty. I had no idea. I thought you had like a hundred k when they added nah, that. I didn't know you only was, had twenty k. 
it was insane because it was just after I made the nuke, I believe. Just right um, after. Then he's like, and that's what, what really get, blew up. This guy getting in the game right now. Yeah, because then I made the second RP movie called The Cure, and I kind of showed it off. I um, I put the sign in the map that we were using for it, uh, and I kind of flew past it on a parachute <clears throat> at the beginning of the video just to kind of yeah, know, give a nod to funny. it. Funny, funny. The Cure. That's another big if, one. You from know, back just, then. just reflecting. Yeah, it's sick. Absolutely love to see it. It just it, it makes me so happy just to look back it's, of all the you know I can watch a video and I can remember like what I was doing back then in in life and stuff. And it just it's just yeah, it puts a big smile on my face. You know, brilliant. It's pretty great though. It's pretty, it's crazy. It's crazy. You've been here forever, bro. I have, bro. It's absolutely. I've been here for a decent amount it. too. It's getting. It's getting to that point. I, it's weird. I still feel new. I still feel new, but I'm I'm not now. Now I'm like nah. now I'm like also you're, an oldie. Yeah, you're now I'm a boomer in too. You you're pretty much an OG, I'd say. At this point, um, yeah. Well, my first publicly avail. Well, I no, this is my first unturned video six years ago. Well, that's. I mean, yeah. I mean, mine's only seven years ago. So you, yeah, that's an OG in my books. That was a long time. But what fucking year was this? What year was this video? It's not good. I was doing the Nilex, bro. I was I was doing the Nilex in this video, actually. What which were you is doing hilarious. the RP? It was an art. Yeah, it literally was. It's only six minutes though, but it was like a. It was a short. Very very obviously had some creative liberties taken from <laughs> someone. Hey man, it, I whenever because that used to happen a lot back in the day. It was just flattering. I was never bothered. I was never like. Oh man, this guy's copying me. No, it was just it was flattering, and it still is. To be honest, you know, if people like made the content I did, it'd be like, yeah, go for it, more power to you, because you know, there's enough space in the community. Like, it's not like it's really saturated like Minecraft, and it's really hard to break through. Yeah, and especially now everyone's that everyone's done everything. Exactly. Yeah, and being in the position I am, it's not like it's, it's not like it's something that is. Oh no, they're gonna take away my view. No, the viewers can watch both. It doesn't have to be. One or the other, you know, we're we're all on the same team, is what I'm trying to say. I think. True. Um, we all just want to make cool unturned videos, I guess. So it's, you know, more power to it. I got a big one coming up. Actually. Yeah, I'm excited to see what that would be. Also, I noticed you tweeted that you've invited a bunch of people to it. Where's my invite, bro? I don't even know what this it is, is, but I'm intrigued. This will be in it. There was a question. This will be in it. There was a question that I asked earlier. I can't give specifics because I don't want to leak the subject matter of the video. <laughs> okay, but there was okay. a question that I asked. I slipped it in earlier, like nice and sleek. Like I was pretty, like, like I had some W Riz. I, sl I s slipped it in. And me up, and I don't even know it, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it in there. So I will update the list. I'll, I'll put you on there. Well, hope you don't. Answer, hope good. you don't mind. <laughs> hope you don't mind. I just rip it from the. Hey, I I don't mind at all. From but, the podcast um, and put it in. Was, was did I give? Because I don't know what the question was, but did I give a good answer? No, it was it? a great answer. No, it'll be in the thing. Epic. Epic. It'll be in the thing. No, it's it's gonna be my biggest. I think this is. I'm trying to make it the the best unturned video ever. It's gonna be hard. I got a lot of competition, but I think I could. I think I can manage. I've got like. I've got. There's more people now than on the list. There's a few more people that are helping. Like uh, I can give a few, like NSTM. Um, yeah. I messaged Robocast. He replied, but oh. he said he wouldn't. He says he doesn't think he has the um, knowledge set for the for the topic, and he doesn't know if he could be of use. I still might have him voice something though. Um, yeah, I mean it's it's still just nice to have like the OGs in there, you know. Um, I gotta have Doug in there. Yeah, yeah. Douglas. Yeah. But yeah, D man. Douglas. I'd just say take your time with it, you know? And even even if you need to reflect on it for a few days, sometimes if I'm not sure of a video, I'll leave it for a day, I'll come back and I'll rewatch it and I'll be like, oh yeah, that could that could. Oh yeah, it's gonna that. be, it's gonna be, well, I, the, okay, so the set release date is gonna be like September sometime. So I've got like like that's how many time, days man. we're gonna be like jamming on the video. I mean I'm gonna be I'm having so this is kinda like my thing. I'm having people help. 
some have volunteered i'm probably just gonna pay them anyway for like example diorente like volunteered to animate i'm just gonna like pay him anyways oh this sounds for fucking juicy bro um oh no this is like when i mean i'm trying to make the best video ever i mean it i have there's an artist there's an animator uh multiple editors trident's gonna help me edit serati is editing his own segment like that one video he made about 4.0 that's gonna be in Bro, there that is you got dm me about this one we're done because this is this sounds <laughs> juicy i have no knowledge of this man i want to i want to be i might give you the deets i'll give you the deets after because i don't this cannot uh, yeah be leaked no, I, no leaking and okay. it's also it's not drama by the way if that's i know yeah some I, people I were concerned because yeah. i was like no leaking they're like are you like gonna kill P9? <laughs> like no, 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 no. No, I, I don't need to. Do, I don't need to kick the horse when it's already dead. I don't have to do. I don't have to do it. No, I don't have to the do thing, it. The thing is, I, like, you know, it's. Uh, I mean, obviously the leaking thing. I would. I would never. I. Uh, obviously, it, no. I know you yeah. won't. But there's some um, people that it's like. Eh, I don't know. Maybe. But if you're grabbing people to help work on it and stuff and, and use their skill set, bro, hit me up. I'm. I'm intrigued. You, I was talking to Doug about it actually. I am intrigued. I was talking um, to Doug about, yo, maybe we can get, like, Nilex to help with some, because there's some in-game, like, recordings that we're going to do. Yeah. And yeah, I yeah. was like, maybe we should get Nilex in, because he's, like, the professional at that. The so professional. Maybe... He's the pro. I mean, bro, he's literally got the, the sign billboard. does say Nilex cinematography, okay? So yeah. you need some cinematography in the game. I got you. He did get the um, billboard in when he hit 20K. Like, bro. Yeah. The, guy, you know, the guy's an expert. We'll get them in. Exactly. Exactly. Also, that makes more hype because we already got like a. There's already a few big people in there. Like Liam is in there. Serati, uh, yeah, the man. Duper Trooper is gonna be in it. Actually, which is the funniest. Sounds... That's the funniest crossover. <laughs> it sounds fucking amazing. I don't even know what it is, but it sounds like. I mean... I'll tell you after. I'll tell you after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. But it, yeah, man. I mean, if there's, I don't think there's been an opportunity to have such a big collaborative project between the Unturned community in, well, the Night Rider had that. one, but it like yeah, it it was more of that, it, like more of cameos. It wasn't like like Knight it's, made it's that big. whole video solo. Like he edited that whole thing solo. I'm yeah. pretty sure. There's, uh -huh. Yeah, there's, there's definitely been a few. I mean, there was. Don't know that there's been stuff like uh, I remember Manaman did a, a little like interview thing with a bunch of people that was quite cool. Um, I remember I think Old was... Baker did one too, where it was like yeah, Old Baker's a yeah, what a what a G. I what don't I think there's been a video though where everyone's like creatively creatively on. yeah like yeah. there's people like there's a dozen videos that have practically everyone in them, but it they're just cameos. It's more of like a exactly, cameo, yeah. them helping with like research maybe, or like it would be like, like for example, I know for a fact, like for the Knight Rider video, a lot of people were credited, like he credited me. I just like did some voice lines for him. Like yeah. NS is credited. I think NS just answered a few questions and he got credited. It's like, this is like a whole I'm thing. thing. There's a whole thing. And then when I'm done finishing it like when it's done then i'm me and zumbi are gonna go over it like eight times just to That's make the sure best way i i did it with the my most recent video i was just watching over it and i was like you know what i absolutely hate the first three minutes of this video get rid of so it i did <laughs> i re-recorded it i rewrote it re-recorded it watched it back left it a day watched it back again i was like yeah solid that's just what you got to do sometimes. You've got to come into it with a fresh mind um, because if you rewatch and rewatch, you kind of get in your own head. So then you've got to like, take a break, come back. Yeah. And then you're like, you can sort of think clearly about it. It's weird. It's weird, man. When you really deep it is, you know, when you're really going in on the finer details, but it's what makes it work, man. It's what makes a good video. So definitely, I'm really excited, though. I, I really, I mean, as soon as you said animation, I was. No, it's big. No, it's... I was ready. It's big. Like, Doug might help animate as well. I mean, so we got Durante on animation. But if Durante needs assistance, Doug will step in and, like, kind of cool. shadow him. Or, or Durante will shadow Doug, basically. 
regardless it's gonna be it's it's big it's a big it's a big thing i'm like really making sure because i don't want to be like um see like the thing with like my predecessors right like zoom and chief Mm -hmm. one day they just were gone they were they were just gone like eventually like one day i mean zoom is back but like it's not the same but like they like kind of left me i'm Mm -hmm. not gone yeah it did take them a while i'm not gone per se but i'm not doing unturned anymore but like i mean i got like i got to 10k because of unturned i might as well like make something big before i go for a while you can't just turn your back on it you know no i don't i don't plan on it i mean like you've got to at least do something bro dude zesus gotta be number one man i'm not gonna give up my title (laughs) Bro, there you go. There you go. I can't give it up. I've got to be numero uno. I say I'm numero uno. I mean, in some ways, I think I am. But, like, like if you went by numbers alone, it's like you and Liam. And yeah. I think yeah. I'm, we're missing other people. I know there's foreign are, channels, I, I feel but so I don't bad. know them. I, yeah, there's a, there's a couple of Russian ones, I think, which... Spanish ones. Stabax. Stabax? Lord Stabax? That guy? Is that how, is that his name? Lord Stabax. I'm not sure. Lord Stabax. I feel so bad. But... He's, Span- he's this big Spanish one. He's like you right. and Liam, but Spanish, basically. I think. I don't know. I see, I see. It's, it's, it's weird, because obviously you don't think to look at... Uh, you know any sort of unturned content that's not in your native language so it's like yeah you, you, you just kind of don't think about them you don't count them but they definitely should be counted i mean they're you know they're big um, they're big yeah. they're big sections of there's the a, community is it called this guy called tespi i think tespi he's russian he's the russian guy non-stop yeah. show i think is one they're russian guy. no they're huge Maybe. they have like 200k i think each yeah, he's on 211k's Tespi, and uh, I yeah I I every few months I'll come across his channel and I'll I'll just see what he's doing. I don't really understand a lot of it. Um, he's trying to get the gist of what it is. I get though. the gist, and he does good thumbnails. I really like his thumbnails as well. He's uh he's good. Liam, but, um, Liam's killing it as usual. Liam is yeah man. He is. You know what it is with Liam, bro? Like he, he gets a fucking he uploads like, every fucking day. I I swear yeah, to man. God. He's Every on that day. grind. And no, he is. It's, it's crazy. It's even madder because you'll look at like he will upload so often. Every single video has a sponsorship on it as well. Like the he's guy crazy, it. man. It's crazy. His thumbnail it. game went up too. I remember his thumbnails not being good. Like I don't remember. It was like a few years ago. And then I literally went and told him like, "Hey, bro," because <laughs> I'm. I mean, like, I, I don't want to say I'm, like, the fucking thumbnail expert, but, like, I have I literally, like, watched a video, like, behind, like, all of the meta, and I went to graphic design school for, like, two years. So I think yeah. I've got, I think when I, I think I've got, a, like, some knowledge. So I, I just, like, let them know, like, hey, like, spice do up this. the thumbnails. <laughs> do some, yeah. do some spicy, spice up the thumbnails. And then he, like, he did, and then I think he he made it his own thing. Now it's like everyone is they're pretty good. They're they're definitely catchy. Yeah, that's what you need, man. That's what you need. I think it's very good to be open to learning from um, you know your peers and people that. Oh, he's in the video too. The big oh, one. Of course. He's, he's in it. <laughs> he's in it too. The goal yeah. for what we're gonna do, we're gonna raid. We're going to do a raid. That's the idea. Me and Liam are going to do a raid, and it's going to be in this video. It'll make sense when I shut okay. the stream off okay. eventually and explain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No worries. I'll no let worries, you – I'll man. tell you because I'll, I'll definitely have you in it. I mean, like, everyone's invited, like, practically, so. Yeah, it's like a community thing, I suppose, at that point, yeah. Yeah, it's but like yeah, a I... – it's big. It's going to be big. Yeah, for sure. In, in but it's, I'm looking forward to that, man. Um. But yeah, I mean, there's so many unturned critters that are killing it. Bloody, like, you know, like we say, Liam's Liam's doing bits, man. He's uh, he's grinding that, and he's, you know, he's getting consistent. He's like the new J-Swag. He's like the new yeah, J-Swag. Yeah, yeah, that is so true. Um, But yeah, man, I, I think it's really good to... You're always learning, you know, and even like you say with thumbnails, you gave him advice. 
I've had advice off like me like Big Boom and you know some of the YouTubes I know and, and it, you sort of collect all this knowledge and you apply it to your own and you also just kind of trial and error learn what works I think you know the, I, I'd say the formula for a good thumbnail is like vibrant colors um, big clear images that you can make out what it is yeah definitely um, and obviously it's got to be catchy but uh, yeah I think that once you got the formula right what works for your channel because it, it's different for each channel I suppose but what works for you and once you got that formula right you, you're good to go it becomes yeah. like a template in your mind and you're like okay you think of a video idea and you've already thought of the thumbnail like i will not that's make me most of the time sometimes yeah, i man. sometimes thumbnail is the afterthought sometimes i have the video idea and i can't think of a thumbnail but like like yeah, for example oh. the there was a video where i duped like 50 million dollars worth of keys that thumbnail i made it first sometimes i make the thumbnails first and then i'll make me the too video. yeah I'll, I'll come up with a title then a thumbnail and then if i like them i'll make the actual video um, because like, do you make the all of the shit it. first and then you record it, or? <laughs> it, it some sometimes yeah, sometimes uh, I'll make. Sometimes really. I'll have a video idea and then I'll try and think, okay, how can I make this into a catchy title? Um, a lot of the times, yeah, I'll definitely sketch up the thumbnail. That's actually first. interesting because I usually will have the footage already, and then, and you, then I make yeah. the thumbnail, and then I make the video. I guess for content like you though you've got to sort of you know you've got to actually go on and, and do all these things like crashing the server if it works if the, what you're doing works to crash the server do things video. yeah so it'd be it'd be not really beneficial for you to make the thumbnail and then go on and realize oh that didn't work like the dupe just didn't work or something you know but you've already made sometimes they don't i well yeah exactly so but with my videos because you know i write them all i kind of I, I there's no like way it's gonna fail so the way i see it though is like the thumbnail is the you know the the front door to your video so if that doesn't look good no one's gonna click on it so i always make sure i've got at least a killer thumbnail idea i might not make it but if i've got a killer idea then i'll go ahead with the video a lot of the times i will just make the thumbnail first and then a lot of the times you know it's kind of like 50 50 i'll make the video and then i'll make the thumbnail but i'll always always have a title and thumbnail at least idea before i even make a video because otherwise there's almost no point because why would you make a a good video and then not you'd not have something that will get people to click on it true true just true. A waste so yeah there's a yeah, method thumbnails a are method. like the most important part of a video honestly they really are. that's what people that's what draws them in and then mm -hmm. you have to have content that makes them stay there, but you have to yeah, get them in. Oh, it's like fishing. It, man. It's like fishing. You gotta get a good <laughs> hook. You gotta get a good hook, but then when you when you catch the fish, it's up to you to like reel it in. Basically, it'd only be Z-Man to bring fishing into this somehow. Man, it was. I just thought of the analogy. It was. <laughs> it was a good. I thought it was a good. I don't to be know. Fair, I want to fish. Was. I want to fish. Honestly, I haven't fished in a Wait, while. Wait, I thought you do fish. I fish, but it's been a, like a few years. I've oh, been busy. Really? Oh, I thought you was like an avid fisher. I thought you you doing that shit all the time. I no, thought I not, thought you took not inspiration P nine, bro. Nah, man, dude. If anything, P nine would be taking inspiration from me. <laughs> 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 I think uh, I think I'll probably end up going fishing with P nine, you know, because he he lives. Um, oh yeah, really doesn't he live in the UK his... now? He lives in the UK now, yeah, he lives with his girlfriend, but he lives really close to where my girlfriend's parents live. Mm. Um, so driving up to see my girlfriend's parents, he's like 20 minutes away. Um, so I've, ne I've never met him in person yet, but we've, we've spoke about it. I think it'd be cool, man, like meeting up, having a drink maybe. Uh, I want to do that with Doug. Yeah, do it, man. Literally, why not, man? With... I've done it with a lot of content creators. Um, I've brought, I've met NS in real life, like NSTM. Like, yeah, man. Yeah, we. Um, I met him at TwitchCon in 2017. Oh wait, fuck! He said this. He said this on that same call I was talking about. We were watching the Metal Man thing. Well, he I said, "Oh yeah, I went parents, to TwitchCon." His parents invited me for dinner, bro. <laughs> Yo, that's hilarious. It is. It is. It's crazy. But Did yeah, you go? We, 
Nah, we, oh. yeah, we were on our way back. That I know. Been, I, I that would have been hilarious if you went to dinner with his parents. That would have been funny. I think we had plans for something. I can't remember what. We had this, bro. It was insane. I would, I'd do that again. It was, it was like me, Dubsy. I don't know if you remember Salmon Man from my videos. Salmon uh, Man. We got, that sounds familiar. We got um, Clash, Dabber, like a ton of, you know, people in the, in the Unturned scene. We obviously got Boom, Quaz, uh, I'm missing loads of people, but that was the was golden age of the group. creator scene, I think. It was, man, and we fucking we got this huge like mansion in LA, and we all just stayed there and and went to TwitchCon and just drove around. It was just sick. It was so good, man. And yeah, NS he wasn't staying with us, but because he, he lives in the area, he just met up with us at TwitchCon, and we we grabbed like a burger with him and stuff. And um, oh yeah, he does live in LA, huh? Yeah, yeah. So we, Dude, uh, I should meet him. I'm going there soon, I think. I don't know. There's a hurricane, hurricane heading over there, so I might oh, really? deviate. Yeah, first time ever. Yeah. Bro, America's scary. I, I <laughs> it was it was so it was really good. I fucking loved my time, but um I it take a lot for me to, to it's go. It's intimidating. Back. Yeah. You know what it was, bro? I got off the, the plane and I know it's their job, but like I got off the plane and I go through customs. Mm -hmm. And uh, the guy is like interrogating me about my name and, and everything. And he's like double checking my name to make sure I'm not lying. Uh, he was like, oh, bro. Uh, he's like, why are you why are you coming here? Why are you, why are you in America? I was like, oh, uh, going for, for TwitchCon. And he's like, oh, right. Uh, is that like a three day thing? I was like, yeah, it's only going to last like three days. Like, also, why are you here for a full week? But he made me Bruh. feel like a terrorist. Dude. I was like, bro, because I want to have a holiday as well. And he, he just made me I'm not like going. Like, I'm not gonna come here on like a ten hour flight. Get off the plane. Go straight to TwitchCon. Stay there for three days, and then come back to the airport right when I'm done. I'm gonna go around and shit. Man, that's that's goofy. And stuff, but it was that was just. I was like, bro, you're a dick. You're a proper dick. Give me my passport. Um, and then that's goofy, <laughs> man. It was it was mad, right? Because literally, I stepped into the airport. It's first, like you know, my feet are touching American soil for the first time. And there's just, there's just geezers with guns, like hey. obviously airport security. But hey, I was come like, here, <laughs> guy yeah. with a guy with a fucking like big old gun. And he's, he's like, move it along. Like he's like, it's like go on. Like because we they were letting us through in, in like waves, and he was like, all right, go, go. That sounds like, really right. strange. I've never I'll had, go. although I fly only in the U.S., so I don't think I have that problem. But you won't need to go through customs, and yeah, or, or whatever it is, like in, um. I don't know what it's called, but for people that are not U.S. residents, yeah. Yeah, they got to go through um, customs or whatever it is. Yeah, it was wild. I mean, we went and shot some guns as well. Uh, that was really cool. That's what you got to do. <laughs> you got to do it, man. But it's you got to do it while you're out here. Every cop has a gun on them. Like, I, yeah. I remember being in, in a car park at Venice Beach, and there was just a, a cop that came up. She had, like, just a gun on her. I was like, hiya, you're all right. <laughs> don't shoot me. Oh yeah, they all got dude. Some people keep some people got guns too. Some just oh, random yeah, fucker will have a. Bro, I live. It was crazy. It's open carry where I live, so. Yeah, man. Sometimes you'll just see some guys big iron. I'm like, yep, I'm gonna oh, be man. nice to that guy. Fully. I mean, bro, I went be to nice shooting to range. There was like a nine year old girl with like a pink gun, and her dad was teaching how to shoot. I was like, yo, I, I, don't, I don't feel like, bro. I don't trust a nine year old. Not you to shoot say. Me. USA. You. It was insane. I can't believe it. I mean, the UK, like, we don't, I mean, we do have guns, but they're not like. You don't got them common. big old guns like we got. We got, so our, our police don't, like, our standard police don't carry guns. They, they carry have batons. Like, tasers and batons, yeah. Um, we have a special unit, a special, like, area of the police called the armed forces. Uh, so they only come out if, like, it's needed, you know? So if, if you've got, like, a, Someone reports, oh, there's a guy with a gun. Armed forces will shot. But if you're just an everyday cop, like, no, no gun. It's mad. Um, but you know what? I, I kind of prefer that. I feel a lot safer. No, it's <laughs> good. Never, like, Because you don't get, like like you said, you're used to walking down the street and seeing a guy with a gun. Here, never. never that's not, yeah, you guys gun. don't got, they don't got guns over in the UK. Nah. Well, they got them, but they don't got them like we got them. Yeah. Yeah, fully, fully. Like, criminals do have them. Like, I've heard of people having them. Yeah, like, there's no way uh, that you can't just get one illegally. 100%. Like, they the, import them shootings and shit. every now and then, like, gang-related stuff. But it's rare, 
and it's yeah like the everyday guy no not got a gun there's more um, stabbings in probably. the uk than i think stabbing that's a big one, that's yeah. a big thing see that's oh, the argument more, more. against um <laughs> that's the that's the argument in the u.s against uh banning guns it's like dude that everyone's just gonna stab each other instead that's not gonna get rid of the <laughs> it's murder true, but at least you can run away i guess true um, it's not like a range what if they're an olympic them... athlete bro what if they're fast as fuck boy they're gonna get you dude they're well, gonna you get you get the L in it, yeah but i think it's one of those where it's like to be fair with the uk it's mostly london that's pretty bad for stuff like that like the rest of the uk is chilling like there is i mean people get stabbed obviously but you don't really i like i walk out i don't feel like i'm gonna get stabbed i don't feel unsafe in danger um it is mad though because you'll get it's just it's a weird scene to see um you'll see like it's a very british thing you won't probably see it anywhere else um you'll find like these 18 year olds like gang members right and they're carrying these big rambo knives or these big machetes and they're just they're like tucked in their trouser legs bro um and they'll whip it out and they'll yeah, obviously gang related stuff it's not just like random people and they'll just they'll start chopping man it's insane um and i'm getting a bit brutal on the podcast i didn't mean to uh, <laughs> that, but, um, no, that's 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 like that's that's mild <laughs> compared to some of the other things that's been on here i think we had pit talk about stuff yeah that's yeah man that's weird as fuck, though. I haven't seen that's anyone powerful. fucking have a machete. I mean, bro, it's like the meme. You know when you say, "Oh, British, like British gang fights," and it's like the the red coat in it <laughs> with a sword. It's like that. On bro. God, it's... Scallywag. Yeah, literally, <laughs> it may as well be. It may as well be like that, bro. It's crazy. It's, it's, I mean, I've never seen it firsthand. Like I've never seen it with my own eyes, but I've seen like, videos and stuff. It's, it's mental. Um, <laughs> Empty it's the compartment scary. of your pantaloons. <laughs> I mean, all they're missing is the is the accent, and they, and they've got it. It's crazy. They just need a monocle, and they f they fit the yeah, part man. perfectly. And I think it's just cities. Down. I think it's like most places. Like you'll hear like people talk shit about either like the UK, or the US. It's the fucking big cities that are shit. Go get out of the city Literally. and go live. Go live in like a regular town yes, or like on the I outskirts, am. and it's fine. It's not a big deal. I could not agree more, man. I hate... It's not like I... Not even for a safety reason. Like, when I go into, like, the city, like, the city centre, you know, like, main part, there's just so many people. I just can't be arsed with it. I'm just like, oh, bro, you know what I mean? There's just... You're waiting in, in lines for everything. You you just... There's so many people around you. I just hate it. What, is it an it's anxious busy, busy, thing? Busy. It's not even an anxious thing. It's just a tolerance thing. Like, I don't want to sit there in, in a line waiting to buy like a bottle of coke or something you know what i mean like that would that would suck it, it's just like the amount of people there and a lot of them are just i think you just get it in cities or maybe it's just because the, there's so many of them but um people are just so unhygienic as well like they'll just be coughing in your face and it's like bro get the fuck off. come on man you know what i mean it's, we just had a year the world shut down you're gonna be out here coughing <laughs> just out literally not yeah, gonna man. it's just there ain't no excuses like for that. Are dirty places. I don't no, they are. Exactly. Yeah. So I, I like, I live in like a suburban town. So I'm chilling. Like I, I like it here. Um, in fact, when we were moving, um, my girlfriend was like, "Oh, we should live in the city." And after living here instead, I think she's she's come around and she's very thankful that we she's, don't live in the city. She's glad you don't live in a she's, city. Yeah, no, she's realized cities suck, bro. Idea. I gotta move. I gotta get out. And of the here. rent prices horrible oh my god don't even horrible. dude i've got to get out of i live in phoenix i gotta get the fuck out everyone from cali is moving here because really? cali sucks everyone from la which is funny because i'm from la that's where i came that's where i was born i was born in la but we moved here like a year after i was born obviously because like my parents saw like la is it's it's kind of looking bad let's let's move yeah. also my dad had to move for work anyway so let's just move we tried moving back a few times but it never worked out bro everyone from california is moving to like either here or texas and it's just like now there's just too many people there's too much traffic like i gotta get the i gotta get out of here i'm going to i might move to like utah or something because <laughs> just the middle of fucking nowhere california people are afraid are, like i swear to god they're like I don't know why they don't move to Utah. They're afraid of Mormons or something. So I just got to like go there. <laughs> just leave. Do it, man. Just leave. Do it. Do it. 
Just fucking leave. I gotta get out of here. It's I so would bad. Love that, bro. I'd love to just go live in like Montana, or I guess the UK's equivalent. But like, you know what I mean? Bro. And it's just like peaceful, rural. It's peaceful. There's like, you've got everything you need. They, you know, it's still civilization. They got all their shop. You're still in America, my friend. You know, it's like there's still a Walmart down the road. Exactly. I would love that. There's a I, gas station. Am, You'll be fine. I'm a country boy at heart. I want to live in a. My angle, like if either the YouTube thing works out or if I like get a job doing whatever I'm studying. Um, yeah, I'm just going to like skedaddle. I'm going to go live in the woods. Yeah, I'm going to go build you know pipe what? bombs. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> go, build pipe, that. go build pipe bombs in the woods. Wow. Like a certain someone. Yeah, dude. I'm going to um, do the Ted Kiz. <laughs> Didn't I, didn't I tweet oh, something I and then so you confused. replied to it? You're like, this is oh, an was, odd thing to tweet Z Man. Yeah, man. I was I was scared. I was like, should he be on a list? Or like, <laughs> That's um, actually so. That was right before my blow up too. So everyone that was coming to my Twitter, they just saw fucking t- just saw that Ted Kaczynski. Dear me. Oh, yeah, I, I'm I going to it right now. <laughs> what an odd thing to tweet! And I replied with a fucking <laughs> sticker I own of Ted Kaczynski. <laughs> oh, right. so, bro, you should definitely move out and like to somewhere like that because first of all you're gonna get so much more for your money like facts my goodness you'll be living bigger in- house yeah absolutely bigger um, car it's a shit it's weird that in the town i live in for some reason it's just become mad expensive um it's so fucking strange everyone's just moving to this this town just because it's like it's just like a nice place to live i guess there's a lot of schools here and it's just like a nice place i guess and and so the prices are ridiculous unbearable but yeah so i think because i'm i'm just in an apartment i'm not in like a house um but when i when i do change and get an actual house it might not be it might not be beneficial to, to you don't, you don't live in i thought you lived in a house you don't live in a house i live in uh it, it's it's a one floor apartment um mm. it it look it kind of looks like the like a house i guess um it's an apartment block but it's made to look like a like a, not like a house but i've got like um is it kind of like a condo or something no no it's a full it's a it's a I'm I'm in the penthouse, my boy. I'm in the penthouse. He's in the penthouse. Um, it's like a I had, it's like a townhouse yeah. kind of. No, it, it it's built it, the new apartment. They were built like know, a couple of years ago. I'm actually mm. the first one to live in in this one. Like this had no previous um, people living in it. So it's all when I moved in, it was like shiny new everything. It was great. That sounds um, nice. Yeah, no, it's really cool, man. It's a lovely place. Um, we've got like. We, I, I just it's just cozy man we've got like these because it's on the actual top floor and it's got like a dipped roof it's got those like arches only so but it's got arches on the roof uh and they sort of dip into the ceiling from the inside so it looks really cozy it feels like i'm on the top floor of a house um when i'm like looking out the the window and stuff but that sounds that sounds nice it's, it is, your setup is crazy it? that reminds me your oh, setup yeah. is crazy didn't i reply to that you tweeted your um, setup and it was like actually like kind of nuts like it looked good yeah it's i i do like my setup it's i've i've put a lot of effort into it so uh mine's in a state right now i don't even know what's going on it it's it it doesn't look bad it's not clean it's not very i gotta clean up <laughs> gotta do it a, happens man it just yeah, I don't know what to do. It it happens. Right now, my desk is a mess as well, bro. I <laughs> the the setup's not even done. I've got a big box on my desk. Um, it's actually an upcoming upcoming little sponsorship. Very kind from from Nano Leaf. They sent Ooh. me a bunch, of, a bunch of their stuff to uh to put up around. So the setup's only gonna get better. I can't wait. I'm gonna stick that up maybe tomorrow or the day after. And yeah, he's man, getting I'll, that I'll fat phone. money, man, bro it's you know how it be bro you know how it be i love it but yeah man i i do love a good they got the money you getting the money from the sponsor when you spend so much time at at one place i your desk you're making content you want it to look fucking sick you want to feel good at your desk you know true so and you know what 
it's not even like it was crazy expensive to to do it's not like it's you know out of reach i mean bro you can you can pick up a lot of cool furniture from ikea for very cheap you know things like i don't really know like the speakers are quite cheap i've got like panels which were what like 60 pounds like 80 dollars maybe um so a lot of it's just here and there and there's nothing like mad expensive you slap it all together and as long as you you have the vision in your head mate it looks sick so yeah yeah, mine looks mine looks decent. I got it. I had some lights, but they're not plugged in. <laughs> yeah, well, so they got like don't... LED strips. That like they're like what twenty dollars. You're chilling. No, I got some. There's some under this desk. I just don't. I don't use them. I don't think we've. I've ever seen the uh, the Z-Man 1064. That uh, is actually true. Station. I have not. Has anyone seen it? Is it been public? I think people have seen it. Like I think I've po I haven't done a full thing where it's like oh hey this is the sh like st like I think it's just been more in like the background or something or like yeah like I've posted maybe like I don't know I've had a post and it's in like frame like I think it's been seen but I have not done the Nilex show off of my setup it's decent <laughs> I've got two monitors <coughs> yeah man I mean I got the, the two screen area. I got the I was going to do three, but there's not enough room on the desk. And also, there's not enough. I don't think I have enough ports on the actual computer to do that. <laughs> there's not enough. There's not oh enough plugins. God, there's yeah, not enough plugins you... to do yeah, it. Yeah, boy. Man, you only need bad. two, really. You only need two. I mean, if you're talking bare necessities, yeah, sure. But. I know some people that have like fucking six and they stack them, and it looks like a. It looks like a like a supervillain. It does look sick. You know, I'm rocking one right now purely for aesthetics reasons. I tried mounting another one. And I I just didn't like how it looked. So. So you only have one works. screen right now, and you're just yeah. It it sounds horrible, but when you get used to it, it's I'm all actually right. surprised. It's just, you yeah, do man, everything on one screen. Yeah, yeah, man. Everything on one. I, it's weird because. I want to mount another one or another two, but it just, it just I don't know, it looks kind of ugly. True. I, I can't get it to look right. It, I mean, maybe one day I'll really sit down and think, and but how am I going to do this? But right now, it's just a bit, I don't know, man. I put it up and I step back and I'm like, eh, I liked it before, so I take it down. He liked so, yeah, it with I'm, the um, one screen. Maybe make the screen big. Maybe get a big screen to make up for I the... I was thinking that, a big wide ultra wide get a thing, huge wide claw. that would be crazy actually there was one at the best buy near my house there was like a best buy i went to and they had this screen and i swear like in width it's like i want to say do you you guys don't use feet huh you guys use we do. meters no, no, we wait do. you use feet yeah as a measurement we we use a mix of imperial <laughs> metric that is very interesting. I thought it's you guys only odd. used metric. You don't, so, so you we, know feet. Okay, that's. Good. I know feet. Yeah, it was I like four feet, feet wide. It's yeah. like four yeah, feet yeah, yeah, yeah. wide, and it's curved. That shit's cur I almost, I almost got it, but I was, I was like, I don't need to spend that been, right now, bro. In it, I've wanted one for so long, but I just cannot justify the price. It's, <laughs> ridiculous. it's so dumb. Tax write off. Well, that is that is true and i do think that every time like yeah but you know it'll help you out in your taxes but you know what maybe one day tax right off you just buy the fucking big screen how would that work though because it's one screen is it the same as a two monitor like how do you, you divide the shit i don't actually know i think you, i don't know actually does windows just do it for you does it know does it give you an option because that would know. that sounds like it would be annoying because with the two screens like oh i can snap this tab to that screen like it snaps and then it's its yeah, own exactly. thing it's like designated for that it's all one thing so would it still snap or would it be would it register as like three monitors or would it is it one <laughs> I don't know, bro. I ain't got a clue. Uh, I tell you, I think me and Big Boom actually has one, so he's. The oh, guy he's got a, He's got. I saw his setup, like a yeah, long he's... time ago. His shit's crazy. It is, man. It's cool. It's really cool. It's um, so crazy how he just quit YouTube. He was getting like bro. millions of views, and he just like, I'm gonna go stream on Twitch instead. 
I don't get it still to this day. I spoke to him a little bit about it um, a, a long time ago now, but uh, he said like he just couldn't find the content that was worth posting. He was like, yeah, I've got videos, but they're just not good enough. And I was Is like, he? I oh. feel like he's got the... I call it Zumbi syndrome because that's the same shit Zumbi was doing. He felt that the content was not good enough, so he couldn't yeah. post it. And yeah. I've been there myself, man. I mean, yeah, that was that's like that's kind of me with the unturned things. But I think yeah. I like, I I I've just I just like I just know I gotta bite the bullet and like if I want to be consistent, I have to post, and it cannot be like a fucking per picture perfect film every time but i think the regular viewer won't care it's still yeah it, it's still I mean, entertainment they're you, still getting I mean, 10 minutes gonna be your biggest critic and you'll notice something that a regular viewer won't even notice you oh know, yeah like i be... want this thumbnail to be picture perfect like oh i'm yeah. trying to adjust this fucking dollar png in the background so it's perfectly lined up like no one's gonna yeah. see that bro it's gonna be squished down like that is so true i make like 20 variants of my thumbnails and they, and they all look the same, same. <laughs> yeah oh, i do that i i i i did that with the um it's actually for the i'm bringing up the big video again because i had yeah. the thumbnail for it is like it's like a custom thing uh, I had an artist, his witness actually, witness protection artist. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I had him draw it out, and like he gave me all the assets so I could like create a thumbnail, and I like, yeah. I have like ten variants, and I swear they're all like practically identical to each other. It was just like yeah. a little details. That's funny. It's funny how it's always the case. Well, it's because when you're working on it, it's like all blown up, so like you. It's like, oh, you this is, everything, yeah. you notice everything, but like, then I'm looking at my thumbnails, like right now I'll go and look and I'll like, they'll be squished down and they'll look fine. Look good. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's you can't be nitpicky, is. man. You got to just do it. So that's what happened with boom. He, I, my, I was under the impression he didn't like the big audience and he wanted to scale it back. That was my impression. I don't think from what I gather i don't think he had an issue with that. i don't think he had like a problem i don't think he was intimidated i don't think anything was an issue i think what if anything he might have been intimidated by the quality that he's set himself up for um which I, I, you know i've been there to a degree so i kind of understand but also to just give it up is insane no it was crazy i don't know how he um, just gave that up he literally had it like he has a million subs bro yeah. he had it he had the that's like lightning in a bottle on youtube and he had it yeah. and he just opened it and i mean maybe he still has it maybe he'll post and it'll go huge who knows but that's true i mean the the views he was getting per video was mental it was yeah he was just but then again did I he make enough to live off that forever i think he did some some smart moves um probably i mean all I'm saying, a video that's like over ten minutes getting like twenty million views. That I'm, I think he might still have that money. <laughs> well, yeah, there, there was a um, there was a time where he. I don't know if it's still the case now, but he was still getting paid a decent amount from YouTube, like monthly. Monthly, just while like, he doesn't just do anything on Idol. Yeah, pretty. That's much. crazy. Um, it is crazy, man. But uh, I think, I mean, it's not my place to say but like yeah he made some smart moves i think so he's he's comfortable but um it is yeah i guess it's just a case of the passion maybe if he if he felt the content wasn't good enough it's sort of like the passion wasn't there to post and yeah so who knows what will happen i i it's been it's been many months since i've spoken to, to tyler and last time i did he was in the uk i was meant to see him but i never did Oh. He was way down south though, so it was it was a long journey for me, so I never did. But uh yeah, it's I don't know, I've not really spoken to him recently. So No one I really has, no I don't think. Like I would no. I talk to Quaz pretty regularly and Yeah, me too. They haven't really although I think there was something else with that in particular. 
that yeah. that was i think that was a thing i won't we won't get into it but i think there was a <laughs> there was something i think that actually happened there which is like unfortunate but yeah i mean it's it's a weird one i think but who knows? union union is the same same thing with union union had it too he was getting millions and then he yeah, bailed out I'm... I don't, I don't get know. it. I don't get it. I I really don't get it because, I mean, I suppose from their point of view, you understand. Uh, if if you were them, it might make sense. But I just, if it was me personally, oh, I'd be oh, dude. If it was me, yeah. Ev- dude. I mean, I I kind of did it. Like when I had the big blow up, I literally like. I was getting them out every, it wasn't, I usually go like every seven days. I was getting them out every five days, like five in a row or like six in a row. I was like, just, all right, this is it. Crank them, crank them out, (laughs) get them out. Yeah. Yeah. hundred percent, man. And that's, that's what I'd be like. It's, you know, so I I have no idea what was going through their heads. Obviously if they, if they were to explain it, it would probably make sense. But I guess to an outsider like us, it doesn't make sense yeah we're just like left like asking what the hell i mean you see it all the time with youtubers they just they just kind of stop they just maybe it is just a general they just lose passion for it maybe who knows they set their Um, standards too high they lose passion yeah i mean who knows if i if i didn't change up my content you know from survival to life rp i you know i i probably would have burnt out and, and left too because you've got to keep the passion alive like right now i am you know on top of the world i'm loving making life happy videos it's like i've got a passion for it i've got all these ideas it's brilliant so i'm i'm loving it but if i was still making survival videos you know that that was getting to its end i was really that was a, that then. was very grindy survival videos yeah, are more a, grindy than life rp you got more um and there's less agency sort of options as well to there's less topics that you can do with with the videos like survival is very i guess simple you know you go out you survive you get loot you build bases you raid bases that's about it life happy the possibility is a vastly no it's a whole know, story you got a whole you can make a whole yeah. like movie a whole story a whole and it conveys whatever. better on on for youtube videos as well because it's like you know it's, it's flashy stuff it's money it's cars it's it's uh, you know all this cool stuff so obviously survival IP. There's only limited stuff, but it's not even that. It was more just the, I don't know, with survival RP, it was getting to the point because I'd done it for so long and I was just like, I've kind of done everything that I can. So then I could, I could feel myself like losing. That shit was dope though. The survival RP was kind of dope. Yeah. I loved it. The bomber. That shit was lit. Oh yeah. That was, that was, that's my favorite. I think out of all the the Nilex movies, I think my favorite one let me see which one is it it's i think it's it's the bomber probably i think yeah. the bomber think is my favorite one choice. that's my favorite yeah, that, one that one's dope that the, they just bomb everything i just liked it because i imagine doing that to a role play server <laughs> just i get yeah. me and doug getting a <laughs> me and doug getting Bro, the, the dauntless <laughs> that um that exact server that we filmed that video on yeah. is the server um that chief uh troll came on to really? <laughs> did, yeah, was, um, was, did he have a video or did it never nah, make it he, to a he video? Was, he was never successful. We banned him too fast. Oh, you should have let him. Yeah. Maybe I should have, man. Maybe you should have. But yeah, honestly, it's uh it's just crazy. Like the the survival RP stuff was amazing. And I did the survival RP series, which was really good, and then it, it really just dropped off and got stale towards the end. And I was, you know, to be honest, I was losing passion for it. Um, and then I did Life Happy and I just got the passion back and I think it shows you know if you've got passion for your videos you know they'll do well in you know in a general saying because if you're if you're really passionate about it it conveys on the video people can see that you you'll love it yeah people so, notice if you put a lot of effort in yeah yeah for sure that makes it better that's it why like I don't know that's why like there's like a there's like a difference like at some point like i feel like some people will get to a point where their videos don't feel real like it doesn't feel like a real person 
Yeah. But we we don't have that problem. We don't have that problem. No. Like, it's I very know. obvious that we are just dudes. Oh, yeah. Exactly. You, just a dude. You know, just a just guy. Just a dude, bro. Just a dude. But, yeah, I fully get you. And I think it's... You, you could, if you really wanted to, you could just slap out so much content just because, oh, well, that gets views. But, you, you know, as soon as you click the video, you'll be able to tell that you don't care. But... You know, like you said, with us, that's, that's not the case. It's like, you know, you watch one of my videos, you can see how much care is put into it. You watch one of your videos, you can see how much care is put into it. Like, it's, you've got the passion for it, and that's... that's I try. I tried. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I've been probably. trying for years, but, like, like now I definitely... Now I try more than <laughs> what I did previous, that's for sure. Yeah, no, good. I mean, I think it's good when you start taking it, like, seriously. Um you sort of unlock a whole new mind space towards it. Like you sort of treat it like a business, but you also treat it like, I don't know, like I don't even know how to word it, but you're like, you become, I treat it like a, like a, you become, I personally, I, I treat it like it's like a, like a culture thing for me. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's what I mean. Like, yeah, that's a good, a good way of putting it. Like you're the, you're the pillar, you're the community. Um, I'm a community pillar. And this is for exactly. the this is for the culture. That's kind of what I that was kind of my aim. Like when I started, like I felt like a lot of um, people I watched, like they'd make some good stuff, but like I felt like a, mm -hmm. a few of them felt like it felt detached from yeah the actual just fucking regular ass people that play the game. So that's kind of like how I tailored my videos, like when I started actually like making them instead of just making memes because that was the thing i just, did for a while <laughs> you were just being a dude you know i was just but being a dude there's not there's no like better feeling though like uploading a video and just i'll sit for like hours reading the comments um same i reply just, i try to reply to like most of them i wish i could man it's yeah it's i feel bad because if i reply to like a lot and then i don't to because obviously there's just a decent amount that is, it would take too long like I feel bad, but it's, yeah, it's just, I love just reading them because, you know, it doesn't take much to read them, but to actually think of a reply and type everything, it, it takes hours, so. But reading them, like, I love it. Like, it's it's such a, a good feeling, just, you know, it's like approval. So you make the video, you, you watch it back, and you're like, yeah, this is a sick video. And then some guy's like, yo, you that's put dope. Out. Exactly. People comment, and they're like, this was Hey, sick. this was epic, this. bro. This is good you stuff. You'll even get people in the comments, you know, telling you things that you wouldn't even think. Like, bro, I get people in the comments being like, oh, I've had this. And they'll just tell me, like, an awful tragedy that has happened to them. And they're like, and, you know, I watch you for, like, comfort. You're, like, my comfort YouTuber. And it's like, bro. That's weird. I like, had someone say is? that. I had someone say I'm a comfort. Yeah. I'm their comfort creator. I'm like, what the fuck? How am I <laughs> comforting at all, bro? Have you watched my shit, dude? dude. <laughs> Have you yeah, watched bro, me before? <laughs> Some people just do, don't they? I don't know. It's like it's like an attachment they have. I guess it's um, it might be a nostalgia thing. It might be who knows. But it's just it's just nice. Like the the actual because every single one of those comments is an individual person on this earth. I can see I you being a comfort this. creator, but me, like, bro, <laughs> have you seen? Do you know who I am? <laughs> like, yeah, that is a bit of an odd one. I can. I'm not that. very. I don't think. I don't think my presence throughout the years has been. I wouldn't call it comforting. I'd say maybe funny, <laughs> controversial at yeah. times, outspoken. But also, people just get like, uh, like I guess, attached to personalities, right? So because you're quite laid back and you're, you know, you're easy to talk to and you're just sort of like, like you say, you're just like a normal dude in the videos. People can kind of relate to that. So they might have like an attachment to that, which is maybe why they see it as like a comfort thing. Uh, who knows? But... But what I was gonna say is like literally every single person, every single comment is a is like is a human on this earth that has taken the time out to write a nice thing under your video. And it's like there's no better feeling. There, no, it's there's great. No better feeling. Um and just reading them all, like people, you know, they'll go in depth of, of how much they love the videos and you'll still it is crazy having like an OG fan that will like remember specific times in like different videos when this specific things said. Yeah. I still get comments being like, Where's Dubsy? 
And it's like, bro. Go, oh, man, where is he like, at? Six years. Oop stuff. But. Yeah. It's like. You know. People ask, like, yo, where is he? Where's Dougie at, man? Where's That's Douglas? I mean, it's really just sort of heartwarming, isn't it? Because it's like, oh, these guys care. These that, And that's what it is. It's like people care about your content. And that is, yeah, I think that's a... That's, a, that's what makes it good. That that's what makes it worth, I think. That's what makes the exactly, actual making bro. the video worth like, it. Bro, if I was making these videos and I was just sending them somewhere and getting money for it, it would be so less fulfilling True. Than, than watching... You the... just sent it like it. You like there's like a yeah. like a screen, and you di you upload it, and yeah. then you hit send, and then that's it. And you then like it, yeah. a week that later, be... you get money or something. That would suck. Exactly. exactly, bro. That would be so like it just wouldn't be fulfilling whatsoever. And then, no, it but, wouldn't. But actually, watching like the video, like the views creep up. The you the watch it live, up, and then yeah, and then all the comments talking about it. It's like yeah, that that is what ultimately makes it worth 100 percent dopamine overload yeah man it is it's like it's 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 monkey brain going th neuron activation approval. exactly man Neur but... <laughs> neuron activation no it's dope no it's a good thing man like i'm happy yeah, that you yeah. pulled it back like i'm happy <laughs> that your channel's like up Thank you, again Thank like you, it yeah. was like because you were up like big time like like a few oh, years ago then like yeah. 2018 like around then it like it was just the dead grade. like you can see it <laughs> it was you can see it like i'm like that might be a video eventually like i have to make a, a fucking video about the dark age because that was you, literally you what it was because it, it really was i was fucking 2018 was... the game was oh. dead as fuck nobody was watching it no one yep. was making videos besides like you me <laughs> i think but i was like nobody so no one cared liam zoom was around then yeah zoom had some big stuff though at that time but even then it's yeah. like it was dead as shit and then everyone's yeah. views went down that was something i remember vividly the entire community just like i don't know like it's like everyone that watched on turn just like got up one day and left I know it was so strange. But and, you're and you're back though to that pre. I am. I'm 2018 back, right? I mean, level. <laughs> I would say so without a doubt. I it's, think the pandemic yeah. helped. Yeah, that's a theory I have. Yeah. Com combined with the curated maps, like like they just started dropping bangers randomly, like for some reason, like yep. the maps just like got good, and mm -hmm. everyone was forced indoors. So I'm sure some people were like. Yo, dude, you remember that fucking, <laughs> you remember that Minecraft <laughs> game with guns made by that Canadian guy? Let's go fucking play that <laughs> while we're stuck in here, dude. And then people would go oh. and like play Elva or something. They'd be like, yo, this is dope. I'm going to play again. And I think that's exactly. what happened. That in China. And then what do you know? We, probably. we reach. Yeah, that's true. And we reach 100,000 concurrent players. It's like, wow. That was crazy. That was, I was wild. was the other day at the uh just the the concurrent players over the course of unturned's lifetime it and dipped and it came back bro, rebirth it's insane it obviously right now the game has never been as popular as it is right now I it's believe so I weird thought, i thought like you said the pre-2018 i thought that would be its peak popularity no, yeah and then i thought not. it would fall it, off right it didn't. Now, it is today well i mean right now this era has been its it's yeah it's the it's renaissance like that's what i call it that's what i've been calling <laughs> yeah. it the renaissance it's the renaissance everything's back the the curated shit is mm -hmm. goaded crazy yeah best servers Unturned is the best it's ever been it's if you, if you take away nostalgia of course well yeah like obviously i fucking prefer like back when like chief grief was posting yeah. obviously that shit was so funny man i don't care what anybody says dude that I'll give him a minute back in the day i was so annoyed by his existence but look everyone back, was you know, but you look back and you was the point you appreciate you know i appreciate the grind man i appreciate the yeah the comedy and all that you yeah, should have let him blow it up man you should have let him blow I your server up 
You should have. You should have saw if if some troller ever goes on your server and like you think it could be like funny, just do like a save before things get bad. Let them blow it up and then ban them all and then revert. That's like, that's what I would do. Yeah, and then they then we both get a video. <laughs> yeah, or, or two people get, get a video. video. I don't get a destroyed server. I love that. Oh man, um, it is it is almost two a.m. for me, my friend. I'm gonna have to wrap this up, I'm afraid. Yeah, wait, you're um, good. No, it's been um. Yeah, we we just hit two hours, so you're good. No, oh, that's that crazy. That's that's like the aim of every episode is like two hours. This is like the longest yeah. one, so oh, GG Bro, easy. We just chat shit. That's the problem. We just chat absolute shit like all the time. Whenever we're in a call, we just chat shit. True. So, It'd be know. like that. <laughs> that's what happens when you're chill. Yeah, it is. It is. All right, well, um, that was Zesus Tangent number six with Nilex. Yeah, boy. Shout out to Nilex and thank you, thank all you. the people. Shout out to some some people donated wall, but I was ignoring it because podcast. Shout out to all the people that donated and all that. Oh, yeah, big up, big up. Big up to, big up to, big up to LVR. He's like the one donator. <laughs> I'll invoice you for 50% of that, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll be taking my cut now, Z Man. Please, hey Z Man, I need my cut. Hey, where's exactly, my cut exactly. from the podcast, man? We, we got service to pay for, bro. Dude, where's my money, man? I came on your show. You gotta pay me. <laughs> there you go. There you go. That's oh, funny. But yeah, no, it's been brilliant. Thank you so much for having me on. That yep. Was, yeah, that was. That's really, how we. That that's great. how you do it. That's oh, how you well, do it. You, you know, if you're ever if you're ever struggling for a guest again, holler because. Uh, I feel like we only just kind of scratched the surface for topics and stuff. That was no, that was, that was good. Oh, it was no, good. it, it was, was very great. Good, but I feel like we could just chat. We could do this for hours, man. The only reason I'm going off is because it's almost two a.m. So I got the best combos happen at like two. It's so true, man. It's so or like true, five cool. p.m. Five p.m. or like two a.m. Do you think prime yeah. hour? Yeah, man, I, I can see that. Um, but yeah, I am gonna I'm gonna shoot off, but um. Thank you for having me on. And bro, DM me about this video because I am. I'll message you busy. right after it's done recording. I'll message you because it is a big one. And if if you were in it, it would be extra, extra special, extra special. I'm sure that you know I'd I'd be interested. I am I'm sure of it. So yes, sir. All right. Yeah, boy. Um, Shout out for being on the thing yeah man absolutely absolutely thanks for having me really appreciate it and uh i will see you next time i suppose yeah what's the last thing you want to say before the the audio cuts out i want to say uh sub to zman 1064 yeah dude y'all i'm sampling yeah. that that's going in a video shout out thank you see you guys <laughs> later <laughs> bye bye man See you guys later, man. We, we, we major, we major.